another episode of the Saturday Showdown, the Saturday Night Box War program that we do here, where we are looking for the lowest numbered card in each round. Tonight we have, looks like, seven different rounds that we will be running, seven different cases. We have 2022 Chrome Update Hobby Boxes. We've got 2022 Pro Debut Jumbos along with Series 2 Jumbos. We've got Stadium Club from 2022. We've got UK, with the first time doing UK in a Saturday showdown format. We also have Bowman Draft Light. almost forgot about that one. So we actually have eight rounds. Bowman Draft Light as well, along with Five Star and also a retail product. We've got some hangers. So I have a hanger case of 2021 update. So we'll start with the round that is most filled. That's going to be Chrome Update. So if you'd like to grab a spot in this round or any of the rounds tonight, check us out on Patreon. We have all the links there. And now that we're live, the price on each of these would be the live stream price. We always have a pre-sale price that's lower for people that grab spots before we go live because it just really helps me out to have everything or as much of these cards filled out as possible so I don't have to continuously slow down and check payments and fill out cards. So let's go ahead and get started. Thanks for being here, everybody. hope everyone's having a very pleasant evening tonight. Chrome Update's going to start us off here on this Saturday showdown. Last time we did a case of these, we had a really big hit. We had a Julio Rodriguez X-Fractor autograph, which was pretty rare and unexpected. So usually these boxes, to put it lightly, kind of kind of suck. There's not a lot of numbered stuff. There's no guarantee of autographs, but every now and then you'll hit a big card and we're just looking for numbered cards. So Daniel's got the first four. Good luck to you, Daniel. Let's see what we can pull on this Saturday night. Saturday showdown back again. Daniel Jackson batting lead off today. All right, so there's purples in every pack. So the, hey, how about that? First pack, we get an autograph. Austin Ola, it's not going to be numbered, though, unfortunately. The autographs aren't numbered unless they would be colored like a parallel. But that's a nice start, an Austin Ola autograph in literally the very first pack. Mike says, first box where he's in. Maybe some beginner's luck for you. We shall see. Now, for the refractors, the regular base refractors are numbered. Nothing numbered yet. The all-star game refractors are not. Al Mahaffey's up next. Max, thank you very much for being here. Nothing in this one. There's a purple for Al. Next up, we have Summit with five. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see what we can find for you and yours. James says, Karen is making cookies, and I'm ready for the showdown. James, thanks for being here. I'm all... Cookies sound pretty good, but I'm not that hungry right now. Usually, the mention of food would automatically make me hungry, but I had a really filling dinner tonight. Took the kids out to eat. And I had a roast turkey, hot turkey sandwich, mashed potatoes, corn, so pretty pretty filling. There's Sterling Marte. It is an all-star game refractor. Notice the all-star game logo down there, so it will not be numbered. If it was not an all-star game refractor in his base card, it would be numbered to $4.99. So, so far, nothing numbered yet. Nothing in there for Summit as we continue on. Pierce at spot number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The mix is in the house. Hey, mix is we when are you having enchiladas? That's I asked the kids tonight. My kids don't like Mexican food, unfortunately. So probably next time Heather and I go out. And Ilias says, Isn't there a controversy with Chrome Update being the same packs as retail, but in a hobby box with no H on the pack? That's exactly the the thing. There's no H on the packs. These are all retail packs. It's not like they just forgot the H on the packs. They're literally all retail packs. The cards, the card odds are exactly the same that you would find in retail. You could you could buy many boxes of this and still have the same exact odds of hitting a numbered card or an autograph. A really big fail by Tops is they just they didn't even make any kind of hobby packs whatsoever. There's one Soto All Star Game card, so it won't be numbered. And nothing else going on there. So Pierce, unfortunately, no numbered card. Usually, folks, it's about one numbered card every, like, three boxes or so. Nick is up next. Nick McGill at spots 17 and 18. The meat counter says, how do I buy something today? We have all the spots listed on Patreon and all the directions there. 
Nick, unfortunately, nothing in there. Kind of expected. One, two, three, four, five. Robert Conroy. There's a pinned comment with the link directly to Patreon to, if you'd like to sign up there. We'll have our next live auction tomorrow night. Spent a little bit of time together just doing some dumps of uh, like all these base cards from Mystery Box Monday and all the subscription boxes from the past year or so. Just putting in 500 count boxes. I'll probably blow those out tomorrow. I don't even know if I should just do it for a set price or auction them off or what, but I'll show you tomorrow. I think I made up like 13 500 count boxes so far. I don't know if I'll have a chance to make up any more. Garrett Cole, nothing in there for Robert. <coughs> what happens if you don't find a numbered card in a round? Then we have to unfortunately go to the randomizer and randomize it. Joe Denner's up next. He's got five, so here's one for you. And you will have four in this next box. As expected, no numbered card in there. Like I said, not a lot of numbered cards in this product. There was a, there's, there's a lot of spots sold for this product. We're at 100 and almost 200 total packs. So we'll find one. It's just gonna take a little while. Let's go ahead and rummage these around a little bit. Heather just texted, tonight's the first time tracking the winners. So Heather's gonna be keeping a spreadsheet of um, the Box War Champions and um, it all started with Steven Shoemaker claiming himself to be the Saturday Showdown Grand Champion. And there was no data to back it up. So we had the idea of this year seeing exactly how many rounds everybody has and uh, maybe actually keeping standings. So Heather's on it. That's, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Heather. I was going to do that for the auctions too, and I forgot to do so. I guess I could probably easily go back and, and do that just from my PayPal. Just check out the payments. Nothing in there for Joe. So, man, what are the odds of pulling an autograph? One in, a, one in a million, it seems like. No, it's like one in every three boxes. Here's all the odds. The odds of finding an autograph are, they're not good. One in, is it 79? One in 60. One in 60 packs. So one in every roughly two and a half boxes or so. Travis is up next with five. One, two, three, four, five. So here we go for Travis. Daniel Tazi says, Heather, you got last week in there? We didn't do one on the first. We Our last Saturday showdown was the 30th. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, because I think last week was the 31st of December was Saturday, and I didn't want to do one on that day, so we did one on Friday last week. So this is the first official showdown of 2023, right? And we've got nothing going on in this one either. Pete Alonso, that's just an all-star game. Bobby Witt Jr. in there. And still, after 33 packs, not a single numbered card. If there is not a numbered card pulled, for those of you asking, I've seen that question pop up twice now, then we use the list randomizer. We put everybody's name in there. So if you bought 10 packs, you have 10 chances at it. But that's, uh, it's, that's never happened before. And I, I sure hope it doesn't happen because, like I said, there are like almost 200 packs sold for this round. So you would think that eventually we would have one. Nothing in there for Salvatore. Daniel Gale's up next. Hammy time. Up for grabs next. Or up next. Totally Mitch and says, I just grabbed two packs of Bowman Draft Light as first purchase. I will check into that and get you added. I think the last person that I added in was Raul Vasquez with a Series 2 Jumbo Pack. I mistakenly, um, did I screw that up somehow? I think I I may have. I th think that I gave Raul two, oh no, I got it right, two Bowman drafts. I'll go and check that out. I think it's one jumbo pack. All right, here's next round for hammy time. And man, another autograph, two autographs already. It's not going to be numbered, though, as you can see the back. Cooper Hummel autograph, so having some good luck with the autos. Two autographs, two zero numbered cards. So, unfortunately, Daniel, you also are out. Here's Zach C. from Douglas Collectibles with two packs. Will I be in Youngstown next week in Youngstown, Ohio? I would guess, if I had to guess right now, I would say no, but that could change. We'll see. There's Jerks and Profar. We've got Ian Happ. It's an all-star game. Refractor, though. 
Lamar has eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six. And then I'm going to owe you two more. Hey, Elon, how's it going? The mix says we have a table sign autographs. I don't really know if there'd be that many people that would uh, be interested in that. Um, I just don't think I have any plans yet next weekend. Like, there's something I'd like to do, but I don't know if we're going to get around to it or not. We'll see. All right, so here we go with this next one. Tim Anderson, All-Star Game. All it takes is one numbered card, and there's the J-Rod base card. I guess we should. That's the first time seeing that one today. We'll put that one in the sleeve. Jeremy Pena purple and Wander Franco purple as well. So, Lamar, you have two more. Lindsay says you would have to sign my Mark Grace cards. Oh, man. Hopefully. Mark Grace always brings back bad memories. I just put that short up earlier this week. I need to start doing more shorts because it's a really nice, easy way to get people to, you know, new people to check out your content because some people only watch shorts. So I'm going to try to start doing more and more shorts. And luckily, since I have six years of back videos, a lot of times I can just go back and YouTube has a really nice clip function now where you can just clip out a little snippet and make it into short from past videos. All right, so Lamar, here we go with two more packs, packs 49 and 50 to finish off your run. Brady says, I love watching that short over and over again. Thanks, Brady. Here we go. There's Kyle Schwarber, and it continues 50 packs without a single numbered card. Here's Brayland at spot number 51. We've got Mackenzie Gore, Wander Franco, Purple yet again. What spots are still open? Every spot is still open. If you go to Patreon, no rounds were sold out yet. I think the round I'm most excited for tonight, I'm most excited for Five Star. We have, I think, at least three or four boxes sold of that. And usually with the Five Star case, there's at least one massive hit or big hit per case. The other boxes will be kind of just blah. Might have some Curtis Terry and Mackenzie Gore autos in there and stuff like that, but there's usually one really nice box per case. Jeremy Steele's up next with two, so I'm hoping, hey, if we sell enough spots, we should be guaranteed to see that big-time hit, whatever it might be. Nothing there for Jeremy. Man, slow going. Pierce is back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lynn says, your videos are so amazing. I love the content. Thank you, Lynn, for watching. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to think what video I'm going to do tomorrow. I have, I think, at least two more videos ready to go. The mix says, with these shorts, you should have a category on your channel. Hey, that's not a bad idea. A worst of. Put like the 81 Donruss break on there. A little worst of playlist. Let's see what we got coming up here. Byron Buxton, that's an all-star game. There's the J-Rod Purple. Get that one sleeved. Ty Cobb. I pulled a Ty Cobb relic at one point somewhere in the last six years. That could be a short. So Pierce, unfortunately, man, we cannot find any numbered cards. Lauren's up next with four. Here are your four. Good luck, Lauren. Typically, like I said, it's about maybe one numbered card in every three boxes or so. Three or four boxes. I've yet to find one. Here's these four. Michael says, your channel got me back in the hobby. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Xander Bogarts, it's an all-star game. Refractor. The regular base refractors will be numbered. We haven't found one yet. They're like one in every 100-some packs, though. The odds of finding a regular refractor are one in 150 packs. One in 150. So that's the lowest. That's your best odds of finding a numbered card is one in 150 packs. So we're not quite at 150 yet, but, man, we need to find one soon. Kevin Newman has three, one, two, and three. Here we go for Kev. Bob says you should get some more triple threads. They look so good. You know what? Maybe I should grab some more triple threads. I'm all out. People like those, and I like opening them. I just wish they weren't so expensive, but, I mean, good stuff is going to be expensive. Nothing in there for Kev. Moving on to spot number 69 to 71 with these three packs. It's going to be Manuel. I think Manuel said this was his first buy-in ever, and we'll see if you have that beginner's luck here and can find the first numbered card of this evening. 
And I think you did. I think you did. Yes, indeed. MJ Melendez. How about that? Beginner's luck. MJ Melendez. And it is a 144. So that's usually a bad number. But with the terrible odds of finding anything numbered in, um, in this product, that's pretty good. So... Manuel, thank you very much. You're the top dog right now, and we'll see if you can hold on. I saw a couple payments come in. So I got Raul Vasquez in Bowman Draft Light, and Robert also grabbed a spot in Bowman Draft Light. Robert Wozniak, and then Raul Vasquez sent in for a pack of Series 2, which I need to add him to the list. You're spot number 34 in the Series 2 case. So we'll continue to add the uh, names as they come into the list. Here we go. So MJ Melendez Blue. Top card. Dan's up next. Here's one. Pack 72. I'm going to owe you four in the next box. Miguel Cabrera, that is an all-star game. Refractor, so it's not numbered. How many are left in Chrome Update? Let me check that out for you, Kev. I'll look at it right now. Let me first go ahead and get these packs out and remind myself that I owe Dan four more. There they all are. For Chrome Update, we have... There's 288 packs in a case. We have 177 sold, so there's approximately just over 100 left in the entire case. So here we go. Four more for Mr. Dan Schultz. Shuffle these around just a tad bit. And we got two payments that just came in. Let's get these four for Dan laid out there. Jeffrey Hayes just grabbed two spots of the Bowman Draft Light. Jeffrey, thank you very much. And Adam Winterborn grabbed a Topps update hanger box yes yeah, a good old hanger box i have a case of those from back in the day actually a few cases of those i'm trying to whittle down my hanger box collection and i uh, used to i don't know why i ordered so much i think i used them because it used to be on the hundred dollar tier i'd give you a wax box a hanger box a blaster box and some packs and i got rid of that tier and set it down shut it down because it was so tough to find junk wax boxes for I've, I've got tired of paying like 35 dollars for junk wax boxes and um i just shut that tear down so i had all, all these extra cases of hangers that i accumulated to you know to send out to people and i decided to grab a whole bunch so i would not run out anytime soon and then i was just man i can't i can't justify paying 400 dollars for a case of 88 donruss yes that was crazy that was like the cheapest i could find a case for was 88 donruss for 400 and now everything has come back down luckily dan unfortunately nothing number there nick is back with two at 77 and 78 the mix has bought a goldie and judge chrome for five bucks each what's uh, how'd you do that? What would you buy for forty dollars credit? How did you, how'd you do that? Where'd you find that deal at? Did you pick it up on eBay? Very very nice. So Nick is out. Joe's up next with three. Good luck, Joe. Seventy nine to eighty one. That's like thirty free dollars right there. Dave says I was looking at ninety one to ninety two score cases and they were crazy high. Yeah, it's um all-star game right there. The 91 score is because of the mantle, at least Series 2. Series 1 should not be high whatsoever. Tyler bought two spots in the UK series, because why not? Hey, UK is going to be the exact opposite of this. It's going to be the exact opposite. There's going to be about seven numbered cards per box. As with these, like I said, it's about one numbered card every three boxes. So, man, there's like... It'll, it'll be a much more uh, interesting, I think. Let's see what else. Edra says, you are good at cards. Thank you very much. Hey, another autograph. Andre Palante, not numbered. Three autos to only one numbered card. Unfortunately, Mark is out. Next up, we've got Nathan with five. So here's your five, Nathan. Good luck to you. He says, man, not too numbered, numbered, not too many numbered cards in Top Chrome. Yeah, this is really, this is just a retail product. That's all it is. Top really screwed this product up. The odds are exactly the same as retail. And it uh, I don't know, it might be the worst product of the year. Either this or regular chrome. It would be tough to, to beat regular chrome, though, I think. Because at least this has all the good rookies in the base checklist, like this guy right here, J-Rod. 
That's one of the big reasons everyone hated the regular issue Topps Chrome set. They left out all the short prints. They left out all the good guys on the checklist, all the good rookies. And it was just a terrible dumpster fire. William's up next. William, Mr. Marlin in the last Team Break Tuesday. I'm going to start to maybe try to get that together soon. Maybe post that tomorrow. I might just do all mixer rounds this time on Team Break Tuesday. People seem to really enjoy those. All right, here we go with this next one. Seth says, have you posted the live link? Seth sent me a message on Patreon. I left a comment. Got to gotta subscribe with those notifications on. We're already live, Seth. Where are you at? Somebody could, should go and respond to him on Patreon. I, I think it was a comment. Nothing in there for William. All right, here we go. Fill up with six. Here's two. Packs 95 and 96. <clears throat> and then I'll owe you four more in the next round. Stephen Kwan right there. Albert Pujols. There's still a couple more team breaks to send, but not many. It's like um, one row of a 1,600-count box. That's all I have to send, which is, I think I may have had 10 times that that I sorted through and sent already. So I was going to do it this morning, but I slept in a little bit. And then there was basketball as well. And I think I may have just discarded a card there prematurely, if I'm not mistaken. Who was it? So it was William Gentry. We had up to 96. I think I got rid of Philip a little too early there. Sorry, Phil. Bring you back in. I got your 95 and 96 packs done, but I owed you four more. Packs 97, 98, 99, 100, so here they are. Sorry for taking off the screen too early, Philip. Uh, Mir says, what uh, will tonight be a late night? I plan to be joining Patreon. It all depends. So last week we were four hours live. Tonight, I don't know. It all depends how many packs people buy. Sometimes people will continuously buy during the night and uh, it will go longer than I expected. And sometimes it might wrap up by 11. Who knows? But here's your four packs, Philip, that I owe you. Let's see what we have. Nick Lodolo right there. Alec Manoa is an all star game. And Ethan Roberts. So now, Philip, you're out, and Casey Vaughn is in. Casey Vaughn, it's spot number is 101 to 105. We'll see what we can find for Case. The mix says, yeah, if there's a big pull, people will. So, like, say we pull, like, a Ken Griffey Jr. auto out of this or something huge, like, low number, then everyone's going to want to try to grab a spot. That happened last week. I think we had, like, 100 packs sold. And then pulled a like a J Rod X Fractor rookie auto worth seventeen hundred dollars, and it just uh, sold out in a flash. Why, Bri? We have Bowman Draft Light left. We've got Pro Debut Jumbos five star boxes left. UK probably do UK next because I am looking forward to UK because of all the numbered cards. It'll be a nice break from. The complete lack of numbered cards, which is what we're having here. Casey is out. Donald Willett has 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So good luck to you, Donald. Hopefully we can find a big timer here. 12 packs. J-Mill says, UK is a fun one, but I may be biased. Yeah, well, with UK, there are... Surprisingly good things. We pulled a, a big time auto. It was a um, Mike Trout. I was going to make that into a short today, but I had bad service. I was going to do it. I was sitting there at dinner. I was like, hmm, what if I could make a short real quick? And I couldn't find it from last last was it last Saturday. So if anybody can find that and wants to comment in that video with the uh, timestamp for me, that would make it real quick and easy for me. I mean, if if you want to, if you're not, if you want a secondary task to do right now, if you've got some free time, there's a J Rod generation now. Shohei Otani, Bobby Witt rookie debut in there. There's Mike Trout, Brandon Marsh, and there we go. Donald Willett has found a Ruggie Green. Is it out of? If it's out of 99, you're taking over. 
It's out of 250, and man, it's an 11. So that is pretty solid right there. You are taking over 11 out of 250. Very, very nice. So, Manuel, you had a shot there with probably one of only several numbered cards to be found tonight. But an 11 is going to do it most times. That's solid, man. So, basically, now people need to hopefully find an orange. You know, you could find a refractor number like 8 out of 499 or something like that to do it as well. Dale's up next. Donald's in the lead. Dale has three spots here. The mix says, one thing's for darn sure. I'm not buying any of that Leave Hall of Fame cut signature product. Yeah, that was disappointing. I was uh, very... They, they have a baseball player on the box, and it was... It was crappy. It was kind of crappy. Earl Weaver. I mean, that's a that's a cool card, but a cut out of Earl Weaver like that, not numbered. It probably wasn't even worth forty bucks. All the rest, football players. I wouldn't do it. I give it a C minus. And now that I think about it, I probably should have given it a D. Next box, Phil Mazeski's up next. Good luck, Phil. It's spot number eleven. Why am I saying eleven? Eleven is the lead card. One twenty one. Peter says the new lighting is making the, the uh, cards look way more crisp. I have actually have the same lighting in here. I haven't changed it yet. It's just the uh, I have a more efficient angle set up. I'm going to get around to getting those new lights set up soon. All right, Phil, here we go at spot 121. And another autograph. It's Brian De La Cruz, who always writes beef for his autograph. It's not signed, or it's not numbered, so Phil is out. Coming up next, it's Matthew White. Matthew's got a run. Before I get into his run of 13, there's pay been payments to come in. I want to add them to the list real quick. Tyler Childs grabbed two spots in UK. Future Man grabbed um, four spots in this round. So, Future Man, you're at spot 178 to 181. Uh, Douglas Collectibles has grabbed two spots in the UK. So, that's spots 62 and 63. And Jeremy Steele has grabbed two spots in UK. So, people flocking to UK right now, hoping to find some nice numbered cards in there. Jeremy Steele. 64 and 65 in UK. All right, Matthew. <clears throat> Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And here is 13. Got to beat Donald's 11. We'll see if you can do it here. Got UK next coming up. And then after that, maybe we'll do 5-star Bowman Draft Light. How many autos have I pulled from this case? Is it three or four? It's either three or four. At least three. Two numbered cards. Usually it's about double the autographs than the numbered cards from Topps Chrome Update. Five Star is a fun product, so I'm looking forward to it. All right, Matthew White. Here we go. There's the J-Rod base. We'll get it sleeved, not numbered. Kyle Schwarber's an all-star game. Lots and lots of purples. I'll show you a tawny generation now. Jimmy Pena purple. The judge is an all-star game. Bobby Witt and J-Rod purples. And we'll sleeve those up. Bryce Harper's an all-star game. Got Say Suzuki right there. Justin Verlander. Matt Olson. Man, just no, no numbered cards in Chrome Update. So, Matt, unfortunately, you are eliminated and moving on to the next spot. Come up here. It's going to be Lauren. Spot number 135. Nothing going on there. Harry just signed up as a member on Patreon. Thanks, Harry. Glad to have you aboard. Here's three packs for Brandon Simmons. Good luck to you with these three. Do I think Bowman Draft is worth it this year? I think so. I think there's some... I really like the rookie class or the prospect class. There's a J-Rod All-Star game. 
And unfortunately, Brandon's out. James has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. To finish this off, this box off, All right, good luck to you, James B. And nothing numbered in that run of packs either. So on to the next box. Turtle B, a.k.a. Zach Thurlby, is up next. Spot 145 to 148. that John A. Robinson just sent over for four spots in Tops UK. John Robinson, thank you very much. Although your payment is a little bit light, John Robinson, I'll still put you down for four if you'd like to take care of the rest of that. You paid the pre-sale price, but not the live stream price. So four spots for you. Put a little asterisk next to your name there. All right, so here we go with the rest of these. We always ask for people to pay early so that we can get everything set up ahead of time. Take advantage of those pre-sale prices. So there's four there for Turtle B, a.k.a. Zachary. So there's Jock Peterson right there to lead things off. Matt Chapman. We've got Jose Ramirez. It's an all-star game. Rowdy Telez, Ted Williams, and Kenley Jansen. So unfortunately, Turtle B, nothing going on there. Seth is up next. Seth's got three. So we kind of wind this down. I think I said we had like one. There's like 180-some packs sold of this round. So we're getting there. Donald getting closer. Here's Seth's packs. There's a J-Rod refractor. Show you Tawny, and that'll do it for Seth. Tim Magdaleno's in the house. Tim M says, hey, Eric, I love the showdowns. Only a thing I love a little more are the Everyone Wins giveaways on his channel. Man, that's pretty crazy. Everyone Wins? You might want to check that one out. So folks, get on over there and give him some support. And thank you very much for supporting my channel here, Tim. Adam Winterborn, just sent over for two in Stadium Club. So we'll get you penciled in right now, Adam. Spots numbered 36 and 37. So you're in there. Let's continue on with Cassandra. Thank you very much, Tim. Um, if one of the moderators could, blo uh, not, could drop the link... That would be great. Bob says, how do I find the live stream prices? I just see the pre-sale prices. If you look on Patreon, there's 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 a um, there's a image file, and it says there, and also it says for every single pack uh, what it is during the live stream. For example, um, it says on Patreon that, for example... Tops Chrome update, $7.99 per pack. And then in parentheses, it says the live stream price. After that, that's the live stream price. And it also at the top of each column, it says that as well. Let's see what we got in this next one for Cassandra. Josh Lowe. And that will do it for Cassandra. Unfortunately, as kind of expected, no numbered card there. Heather said she made it home. All right, Heather, glad to hear it. One, two, three, four, five. Here's five for Casey. Yeah, maybe I, I, I should probably make like an updated list. Like, hey, we're live now. Here's the, the new pricing. But it's always kind of a rush here, especially like I'm all ready to go. And then my youngest daughter is calling out to me because she needs to go to the bathroom. So I have to go and get her out of bed and take her to the bathroom. I let her go to the bathroom and stuff. All right, Casey, here we go. 
No, Chrome Update is not sold out. There's 288 packs. John Miller is up next. And um, it's... We're at 181 sold, so we've got about 100 packs left. Insure says, you send a hobby box for the $300. Well, Insure, it's, it's more than just a hobby box. It's a hobby box. It's two blaster boxes. It's a hanger box. It's a selection of hobby packs. And there's also 10% off on all breaks. So, for example, if um, you're grabbing a spot in a break that's $100, you'd get $10 off. So, Jeremy's up next. Spot 161 to 162. All right, let's see what we can find with Jeremy Steele's packs here. Fortunately, no numbered cards there. James Thomas has 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. I will owe you four more in the next box. Emerson says, how do you join on Patreon? There's a link that is pinned up there in the top of the live chat if you click that link it'll take you over there and you can decide which tier to sign up on all right james here's six i'm gonna owe you four more meet Kevin says i still can't buy anything i'm a paying member there's well it's two different two different um platforms you have you're a member of the youtube channel community which gets the perks and the auctions we sell all of our breaks on patreon though there's Jazz Chisholm. So it's two completely different sites. It would be like, hey, there's Royce Lewis. That's numbered. It would be like trying to check your Gmail on, say, yahoo.com. It's just not going to work. They're, they're different sites. Um, just I can't I can't run the breaks on, like, the YouTube channel membership. It would just be way too uh, crazy and hard. I uh, don't know if there's a way I could do much easier on patreon then i can give the uh patreon has those benefits where you can give benefits and i do those monthly packages for certain tiers of members all right james here we go at spot number 10 i'm gonna owe you four more packs here and we'll check out your royce lewis in a second it's numbered so i'm just saving that one for last here you're probably the last hope here or at least the last big challenger for donald here's your other four packs then we'll flip over your Royce Lewis and see what it's numbered out of. It'll be out of four ninety nine, but you're going to need it to be less than eleven. All right, James, here we go. There's the link. Hobbyhound's got the link to Tim's channel. There's Austin Riley, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. You got to be careful with those. Everyone wins giveaways. Be careful with those. We had someone here a long time ago. You might remember him. Walk off wax. Had like, uh, I think he had like five subscribers. Came in here with an offer of everyone who signs up as a subscriber to his account gets a free wax pack. And I think that night he got over a thousand in one night. A thousand people from people that were in the live stream and then people that watched it later on. Like, why not? Free wax pack. You don't even have to do anything. And um, from various uh, folks, I heard that uh, a lot of those... Um, a lot of those went unfulfilled. So I don't know what the guaranteed giveaway is, Tim, but I, I just uh, just be careful. <laughs> if you're giving away a pack, just remember the old walk-off wax um, controversy. There is Royce Lewis. It is a Twins numbered card. It is a 163, 163. So James is out. Raul Vasquez is up next. And then after Raul Vasquez, there's only one more person on the list. And that is Future Man at 178 to 181 for Future Man with four. So here we go. Five packs, Raul. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we can find. You have an opening day black logo card. I'd have to see it to really know what you're talking about. Opening day, from what I understand, don't have numbered cards unless... I mean, they have those, what, blue foil cards? Let's see what we've got in this one. I saw Andrew McCutcheon, who's still out there as a free agent. I would love to see him come back to the Pirates to kind of wrap his career up. He still may have, who knows, maybe he has a year or two or three left. I think he was a, about an average player last year. Heard his, um, what was his... Um, I can't remember what his war was, but it was, he, was, he was about an average player. Future Man, I think his runs created plus was like 99 or something like that. 
Future Man, I think you're the last hope here. Let's see what we can find. In your four packs. There's Torkelson. Sandy Alcantara, that is just a regular all-star game card. We have Randy Johnson and Hunter Dozier right there. All right, so Future Man is out. I'm going to check the PayPal one more time to see if anybody sent another one in. I see that Brandon Simmons sent in for Tops UK. So Brandon will get you added in to Tops UK, which we're doing next. You're at spot number 70. Brandon Simmons, I see that Paul Kaufman is going to try his luck at this. Tops Chrome Sunday is what it says. Doesn't say how many packs. I'll have to figure that out for Paul right now since it doesn't say how many packs. So Paul Kaufman, let's see here. Let's see the That's five packs. Paul Kaufman's going to give it a go at five. So Paul, 182 through 186. This might be the last challenge to you, Donald. And then I think that might be a wrap for Chrome update, and then we'll get into UK. So Paul Kaufman, who just sent this in for five. And William Gentry just sent in two <laughs> for the Series 2 Jumbo Packs. Mr. Marlin, William Gentry at spot number 35 and 36. He says, go Marlins. This is in his uh, payment, kind of a little inside joke. Uh, Don Terry, there are still spots in five star. I'm really looking forward to that one. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go, Paul. So in William Gentry's payment in Team Break Tuesday, he said, I'll take another mixture spot, no Marlins. And then he gets in there, we, we run the randomizer, he gets the Marlins again. But I think he had two autographs, so it actually worked out. All right, so, Paul, here we go. This is apparently the last round here of Chrome Update. The extra packs I'll just save. All-Star Game card there. There's a J-Rod. And that will do it. There's no numbered cards there. Paul, you're out. Donald, you've taken the first round. Congratulations. All of the Chrome Update are yours. And now we're going to change gears entirely and go from a... Release that has almost no numbered cards whatsoever to, to a release that is littered with numbered cards in Topps UK. There are a ton of numbered cards in this round. So let's go ahead and bring in the UK note cards there. Robert Conroy is going to start us off in this next round. Let me go ahead and swivel around here and find the UK case. It's around here somewhere. There it is. It was hidden underneath a 3,600 count box. Mayfield says, I just joined. What's the best card you've pulled so far? Honestly, probably uh, a purple of Bobby Witt or something like that. We did... Uh, we did... Chrome Update only, and that was not a very good release. Robert Conroy, here we go. I will mix these up just a tad. I don't know if the numbered cards are... Um, the, the mix says, is it too much to ask if you do a break in for the UK, if you can do it in a UK accent? Man, my UK accent is terrible, so I, I think that would be a bad idea. All right, here we go. Robert Conroy, already a numbered card. To start things off, you can see it's a red... And it is going to be a Ryan Valade. It is a 5 out of 99. 5 of 99. So, Robert, sometimes people will run the whole table. I don't think that's going to be good enough with all the numbered cards you're going to be up against, but we'll see. That's a nice start for you. Jeffrey's up next. Jeffrey has three. There's one, two, and three. Let's see what we've got for you. Here's a black border card of Yadier Molina, and it is a 57 out of 125. So already, two numbered cards. I think that equals the entire output of the uh, entire case there. Of, there's a nice J-Rod rookie card. Chrome update. I think we had two numbered cards, and we got two within, like, four packs there. So 
Joe Denner's up next. Joe has three packs. UK does have all the good rookies in it. Yep, Daniel, they're all in here. Bobby Witt, Torkelson, Pena, J-Rod, Wander, O'Neill Cruz. Here we go. Joe Denner. There's no guaranteed auto. There's Wander. Three packs for Joe Denner, and he's got another one right here. It's Tim Anderson. It, it, wow, just like that. Two out of 50. Probably whoever ends up was going to have a one, but Joe Denner's taken over with a two out of 50 already. It would just take a, a one out of, like, even 99 or whatever to get the job done. So, Joe Denner, congratulations. Now you're on top. And now looks like Dale's coming up next with four packs. So, Dale, here we go. Check that. Five packs. I got them. One, two, three, four, five. Todd just signed up on Patreon. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. We'll see what we have here for Dale right now. Like I said, about seven numbered cards per box, so might find one in this run of five packs. Already found, like, three already. There's the Jeremy Pena in that stack. whole bunch of those little insert cards there, but, man, maybe only one numbered card, and here it is. Gabriel Arias, red. It is a 77 out of 99 there, so Dale is out. Next up, Jim Markovich with one. Pack number 14. C.J. Abrams is in there. Unfortunately, nothing else going on either. So who's up next? Spot number 15 through 19, Casey with five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll see what we can do for you here. I think we're going to do five-star next. I can't wait any longer. I mean, five-star has a lot of spots still available, but... I am looking forward to it. There could be some huge stuff in there. So five star coming up next. If you want to grab one, we have looks like uh, four of the boxes sold in five star. It's a 12 box round. So that leaves eight spots left in five star. If anybody wants to grab one coming up next, Alex Reyes is not numbered. thought maybe it looked like a black background card, but it's, it's not. See what else we have? There's Richie Palacios. This one is a 32 out of 125 on the Richie Palacios. And it looks like you got a gold in here as well, so you have another opportunity. There's O'Neill Cruz's rookie card. Here comes the gold. It is Tim Anderson yet again. It is 4 out of 25. So close on that one, Casey. But... No cigar, as they say. So you are out. Next up, Lamar Thomas coming up next. Lamar Thomas in a Saturday showdown two weeks ago had a huge Shohei Otani autograph. Here's four packs for you. Are the UK cards really made in the UK? I think they're actually printed in Italy, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're printed in Italy. And uh, they do ship from overseas because I had to pay a freaking import tax on them. All right, Lamar, here we go. These boxes are around $200 now on eBay, I think. As they, they shot up a bit once people realized you can actually find autographs in these. Now, they're not one in every box, but I think it's one in... Uh, nothing in there for Lamar. No numbered cards. Oh, what is it? One in every 79 packs? or something like that. Yeah, 1 in 79 right there. So that's not that bad. All right, Warren Brewer. Here's one pack for you. I'm going to owe you two more. You have a numbered card at the back end here. It's going to be a Walker Bueller. There's the J-Rod as well. It's a blue Bueller. It is, wow, 2 out of 75. We have a tie, but... Joe Denner had a 2 of 50, so Joe Denner hangs on because the denominator is the tiebreaker when there's a tie. So Warren, close on that one. Very close. You still have a couple more packs. Let's go and rip into those. Mayford said, I watched your video yesterday about the Hall of Fame patch of Chipper Jones. That was sick. Yeah, five-star. We had some crappy boxes in the previous video. Well, some crappy. Others were nice. I mean, we had an Ichiro in there and stuff, but um, yeah, that... Uh, that uh, definitely ticked up the interest in five star again around here, it seems like. And 
we'll see what we can find in five star. All right, now I should note because I just remembered with UK, I pulled a redemption last week. So Mike Trout redemption, pretty sick card. However, redemption cards, unless it says printing plate or super fracture, it doesn't count as anything. So if it just says like purple auto of Tim Anderson redemption, it's nothing. Redemptions don't count because I don't want to wait around for a year or two to release all the cards, you know? So we just don't even count them. That's just the ground rules. Redemptions don't count in case we find another one at some time in this round or any time tonight. Nothing in there for Warren. Lauren's up next with two. Good luck, Lauren's box 27 and 28. And for Lauren, no numbered cards there. Here's pack number 29. This one's going to Kurt Peters. Nothing in there. Miguel Sano. So Kurt is out. Eric Daniels with three. One. Two. And here's number three for Eric. Got Giancarlo Stanton right there. And a little bit of a lull in the numbered cards. Neil Davis is probably going to find one here. We're due for numbered card. Spot number 33. Maybe not. Another, another one of those career year cards which aren't numbered. Moving on to Andrew Barrow with five packs. Here they are. Let's see what we can find here for you, Andrew in this next round. So far, three insert cards. The mix says, I think it might be time for a blizzard. Unfortunately, Dairy Queens are all closed. I think they closed around here at nine, eight or nine. So that's not gonna happen tonight, but yeah, blizzard would sound pretty good. Had one a couple days ago. Might have to get one tomorrow. And nothing numbered in there for Andrew. So I did shuffle these up, and I feel like I probably shuffled all these cards on the other side of the stack. AB, how's it going? Ezekiel's up next, and Ezekiel just found their very first ever one of one. I saw the note from their pops there in the payment. First one of one this past week, so that's pretty awesome. Hey, let's see if we can find you another one. One, two, three, four, five. Here's five packs for Ezekiel. Been kind of slow to find numbered cards. Uh, Travis, I just paid for seven spots. It's supposed to be for UK, but it says I'm thanks. All right, so I better check on that now. Let me check it out for you. So I see Jeff Martinovich paid for a one-card spot in five-star. So we'll pencil you in there, Jeff Martinovich, for one card, spot number nine. So we'll have to find someone else to split the box with you. And Jeffrey Hayes just paid for a pack of UK. He'll be at spot number 71. And I will check on Travis's as PayPal updates. All right, let's see what we can find for Ezekiel here. Man, where'd all the numbered cards go all of a sudden? It's like they all just dried up. There's a J-Rod in there. And significant stats, Aaron Judge. No numbered cards in that run for Ezekiel. All right, 44 to 45 for Dale Baker. Come to think of it, I don't know if we found a single numbered card in this whole box. What the heck, UK? Inconsistent. Nothing there for Dale. And Brian's going to wrap this box up with three. One, two, and three. Just all base cards here, too. 
Topps UK taking a page out of Topps Crumb Updates playbook there. So unfortunately, that box yields nothing. Dean Fowler coming up next at 49 and 50 in the next box. Let's see what we can find for Dean here. Good luck, Dean. These are all from the same case. It was a brand new sealed case, so hopefully this next box is not like that last one either. Mark Barrett, hey man. Doing pretty well. How are you doing? Got to get some more triple threads for Mark and Adam Outlaw, who are the triple threads guys. All right, so shuffle those around just a tad. Here we go for Dean. Spots 49 and 50. Is a member and a Patreon member the same thing? They're, they're different sites. They are different. They get different perks. Joe Denner is up next. Joe has three packs, which we will save, as he already is the top dog. Brian Smith is back again at 54. 55 and 56 for Brian Smith. Typically numbered cards at the back of the pack, and I didn't see anything numbered on the back of these three either. So Brian is out. Next up at 57 through 59, it's going to be John. Before I rip into John's packs, I got to add up um, some other ones here. So Baseball Card Outlet just grabbed some Stadium Club. Let me go ahead and pencil them in. Uh, baseball, didn't tell me how many packs, though, so I'm going to just see if I can run the math real quick. Um, man, it doesn't even make sense. Let me see. Equals that divided by that. So they're short. Baseball card outlet, you are short. You didn't pay the live stream price, it looks like. You paid the pre-sale price. So you're going to owe, if you'd like to just send over that, uh, the balance. We'll put you in for the four spots. But just remind uh, remind you to, that you are short. So we'll put that there. And Travis Williams is sent in for seven spots in Topps UK. Get him added in right now. Travis Williams at spot 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Let me put some names on some cards real quick. Won't take all that long. Tyler Childs is coming up after John Miller. Spots 60 to 61. We have Douglas Collectibles coming up at, I think that's Zach C. At 62 to 63. Then after that, Jeremy Steele at 64 to 65. With two at 66. Through 69, we got John Robinson, who's a rookie. So maybe some beginner's luck for John Robinson. Best of luck to you, John. It's 70, it's Brandon Simmons. It's one pack. 71, Jeffrey Hayes. I just have one more to do and we'll be caught up. And then at 72 to 78, it's Travis Williams. Then we'll finish off UK and we're getting into five star right after this, which is going to be great. I think we're going to pull some big hits, hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven packs there for Travis. All right, here we go. All ready. Make it three for baseball card outlets, says Talking Tatis. Um, all right, so is I. Are it three for baseball? It's four. I have you in for four baseball card outlet. Okay, so it's just make it three. So that must be you. All right, so we'll do that for you. Baseball card outlet. Let me go and change that around. So now, are we evened up or do I owe you money now? Um, looks like I owe you seven bucks. So just remember you have a $7 credit next time, Talking Tatis. Next time, you, if you grab another pack tonight, just take $7 off of the live stream price. All right, so here we go. John Miller. And we're back to a numbered card. All right, so here, they're back. Number, there was a nice run of, should I say not nice run, of 
20 some packs. Let's see. The mix says, Lindsay, can I call you the queen of mini binders? Lorena. <laughs> those mini binders were nice. I got those all shipped out. I stayed up till like 1.30 in the morning that night just getting those mini binders shipped. People were probably like, uh, why is Jeb still up like after 1 a.m. on a school night? I just wanted to make sure they were all shipped out. 41 out of 99. 41 out of 99 right there for John. So the numbered cards are back, finally, after 20 packs without any numbered cards or so. And Tyler's up next at 60 to 61. Searching for hits with Eric says, did you get my payment for a pack of UK? Let me go and check it out right now. Um, I assume your name will be Eric. I don't see any Eric's recently, but we'll check after Travis. I haven't updated my PayPal for like a few minutes. Another numbered card here coming up. It's a black. It's Nick Allen. It is a 13 out of 125. Lead number right now is a two. So Tyler's out. Next up, Douglas at 62 and 63. I think his real name is Zach. You've got a numbered card there on the first pack. It's going to be a purple, Trey Mancini, and this one is a 45 out of 50. So the numbered cards are coming back. And unfortunately for Zach C. and Douglas Collectibles, you're out. All right, so payments updated. Eric Daniels, I got it. Actually, there's, man, there's like six payments that just came in. William Gentry is grabbing a spot in five-star. Landon Wright is grabbing a spot in five-star. So, William Gentry, you'll be at spot number 10. You called it first. And uh, Landon Wright, you'll be at spot number 11. Eric Daniels, one more pack of UK. You're at spot number 79 in UK. Um, Brett Marso is grabbing three packs of Stadium Club. So we'll put you in Brett Marso, A.K. Lippin Bassett, 41, 42, and 43. Jeff Martinovich is grabbing three spots in Stadium Club, 44 through 46. And Joseph Murray grabbing two packs in Stadium Club at 47 and 48. All right, I think we are up to date. Let's go ahead and check out Jeremy Steele's packs. I'm looking forward to doing the Tops 5 stars for everybody. That's coming up next, Tops 5 star. It's a 12-box round. So there's plenty of spots still available. There's 24 total one-card spots. We uh, if I, I don't know, if it were me, I'd probably go for the full box spot. But, you know, we shall see. John Robinson up next with four. Here's four for you. One, two, three. And here's number four. I don't think I saw any numbered cards. That back card is going to be where the number would, would be. Every numbered card in the UK is always the back of the pack. Say Suzuki, little insert card there. Salvador Perez, significant stats card. And Joey Votto, significant stats. So, John, thank you very much. Unfortunately, no beginner's luck there for you. Next up, it's Brandon Simmons at spot number one. Or it's actually spot 70 with a one pack spot. Jamir says, That's me, Jeff. Happy I did it right. Does the database on Patreon live update? It does not. I would have to go in and put it in the 21 out of 125. I, that's why whenever I get a payment, I call them out and say, hey, this is your spot. Oh, man, we got something here. We have an autograph. It's an auto. It's a rookie auto. So our first autograph of UK. Again, they're one in every 79 packs. So one in every three boxes took us pack 71 to find one. It is going to be a Mackenzie Gore rookie auto. It is unfortunately not numbered. So there we go. Autograph number one of UK. Jeffrey is out. And Travis is up next. I can get you one from this box. Spot number 72. I owe you six more from the next box. So let's go ahead and get into that last box. Currently the last box of this break. Here it is. wrappers thrown away as of right now the end spot of this round is spot number nine and uh, we're at spot 73 so there's only a few packs left to go if you'd like to grab one 
and grab one right now. Otherwise, we're getting into five star next pretty soon. It's about 79 dollars for Eric Daniels, so we'll go ahead and slip his name underneath there. The rest of these packs, I'll save and do something with them. Maybe use them in my Patreon packs this coming month. Maybe use them in a random pack break or something like that. Jay Ratliff says, LC wants an event used prison bar, Mark Grace, autograph relic to go with her auto autos. Here we go. All right, what did I say? Six more packs is what I did. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good luck. Let's see what we can do for you here. One. Two, numbered card right there. I think I saw it out of 50. Three. Four. Five. And six. So, Travis, you got uh, one numbered card, I think. It's a purple. And it is going to be Joey Gallo purple right there. It is a 20... Six, it looks like 26 out of 50. Not going to beat the two. Joe Denner still hanging on. It's been there since pack number six. Been sliding through without too much competition. But we'll see what Eric Daniels has up his sleeve. Currently, Eric, the last person to grab a spot. We'll see if anyone else grabs a spot. But this is it for UK, I think. So here we go. Eric Denner at spot number 79. I don't think you have a numbered card. The last card that's going to be a significant stats is Giancarlo Stanton. It's just a regular base card, which means the champion of Tops UK and his first W of 2023 Joe Denner moves into first place, tied with uh, Donald Willett. Joe, congratulations. You've got the first dub of the season for you. You've got UK in the books. Thank you very much. The extra packs, and i got to put these in. Those were yours as well. Those little lifeline packs. Get those sent out to you. All these extra ones. Put those off to the side, and we will... Oh, that's more than a half box. I don't know what I'll do with those. Do something with them. Time for Tops 5 Star. Now, this is I have down with Joe Dahmer. It's Joe Denner. D-E-H-N-E-R. Joe Denner. There he is. He says, boom. So, Joe, congrats on your W right there. All right. So, coming up next, it's time for Tops 5 Star. There's plenty of spots. Spots in this round. There's 24 total one card spots, or if you want to grab a whole box, we'll just give you two two spots. For example, we have 11 spots sold right now. So if you grab a full box, you would get spots 13 to 14. I would give you a full sealed box of five star. All right, here we go. I've been waiting for five star for a while. I was pretty happy with um, the face off Friday this past evening. Let's see what we can find. In box number one for Ryan Caldwell. Lance says, can you send me a refund for my one spot, please? Um, all right. Send you a refund for one spot. Um, why is that exactly? We didn't even, we didn't even run it yet. Land and right. Uh, let me know what's going on there. I don't um, generally do refunds unless I forget your spot. Um because, you know, we had somebody try this last week when pulled like a one in the first pack and then they wanted a refund. Oh, it says 10 was your lucky number. All right, so we will see here what we have for Ryan Caldwell in box number one. So here we go. If you'd like to grab a spot, you can do so. Ryan Caldwell at spot number one. And this will probably be a quick rip. All righty. So we have a silver signature, silver ink card to lead things off. It is going to be a Marcus Semyon. 
It is numbered 17 out of 30. 17 of 30. Marcus Semien is the first card. And this, oh, Bo Jackson. Very nice. Bo Jackson up for grabs. How about that? So Marcus Semien, 17, is the top card right now. And Bo Jackson, you don't see Bo Jackson autographs that often. I pulled one, in, I think, in the preview video. Just, um, you know, just don't see them that often. Bo Jackson up for grabs. And Ryan Caldwell is now in control with the 17. So, you know, Dave says, I want that bow. White Sox Tom says, nice bow. There might be other people that want that bow to grab a spot. Let's go ahead and see what we have in spot number two. A full box going to Seth Gershenson. Let's see if we can find for Seth. In our second box of five-star... What? Oh, what is this? There's a clear, like, hall, like uh, <laughs> clearly authentic type card here. All right, so we have something interesting in here for Seth Gershenson. Will the Thrill Clark is the first one. And the second card, it's going to be number two. Oh, Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso. Pentamerous Penmanship, two of ten. Pete Alonso. So Seth Gershenson takes over. With a Pete Alonso number two out of ten. Nice card right there to go along with the Will the Thrill Clark. Very, very nice card. Seth, you are now in the lead. So congratulations and look who's coming back. Joe Denner just took a round. He's gonna try to get it again. So if you can hit uh there's seems like every box has like maybe something numbered out of twenty-five or something like that. Maybe find we had a Chipper Jones one out of ten or something yesterday. It was I think it was one of ten or one of twenty-five. If you can find a low numbered card. It's all you need in these rounds of five star. Here we go, Joe Denner at spots five and six. It's got this full box. Let's see what we can find for Joe here, going for his second dub. Hey, LOL card breaks, how's it going? We have a Corey Kluber 15 of 40. 15 of 40 to lead things off. It is a silver ink card right there, Corey Kluber. And the second card, it's going to be a CC Sabathia, also numbered. It is a 29 out of 75. So future Hall of Famer right there in CC Sabathia and Corey Kluber. It's a silver ink card right there of Klubes. Former, what, two times Cy Young Award winner, but not good enough to take the box from Seth Gershenson. Torqued Up is coming up next at spots 7 and 8. And then we have at spots 9 and 10, we got Jeff grabbing a one spot. Martinovich. And number 10 going to William Gentry. So we have two boxes left to go in this round, unless other people grab spots right now. And what do we got coming up next? Living Bass says, how come you don't make buying spots whole dollar amounts like auctions i usually round up to the whole amount just thinking out loud here maybe i should do that i don't know i just feel like maybe people feel a little bit better if it's one cent less like buying at the gas station you know how gas is like always like say if it's 349 it's actually 349.9 i don't know i just always do that but maybe and that probably would make it easier you're probably right just from a a sheer ease <laughs> like instead of paying like 9.98 for a uh, whatever pack it is, or nine ninety nine, um, just be easier to make it ten dollars, right? I guess so. You are right about that. Maybe I should do that. Lippin' Bass, thank you for the super chat and good luck in your upcoming spots tonight. All right, here we go. Torqued up coming up for the next five star box. Let's see what we have here. Torqued up at spot number seven and eight. Best pull of the stream, probably that, well, what, Pete Alonso right there probably is my favorite so far. Turtle B always rounds his up anyway. Makes the math easier. All right, torqued up, you have a Josh Lowe rookie auto. It's not numbered. And the second card, it's going to be a nice Byron Buxton patch out of 25. Big old patch, 20 of 25, Byron Buxton. Also up for grabs, and Seth hangs on. So coming up next, spots 9 and 10. They're going to split this box. This is currently the last box in five-star. It is for Jeff and William Gentry. So here it is. Bet you William Gentry will probably have a Marlin, Mr. Marlin. 
probably have like a uh, Brian De La Cruz down there or something like that. But all you need for it to be is numbered. So Jeff has the top card. William has the bottom card. Here we go. This is currently the last box. I will hit the refresh button, see if anyone else is grabbing a spot. All right, top card, which is for Jeff. It is a Hall of Famer. It is Fergie Jenkins. Very nice card right there. It is not numbered, though, so unfortunately, Jeff is out. And the bottom card now for William. It, oh, it is a Marlins card. How about it, Mr. Marlin? And it's a Hall of Famer, Marlin. A Hall of Fame box, Yvonne Rodriguez. It is numbered 32 out of 50. What is with you and the Marlins, William? 30, he he hates the Marlins, and he keeps getting them over and over again. That would be a nice cool to have if it was a, a nice cool card in a personal break. 32 of 50 right there. And that will do it, it looks like, for the five-star round. I don't have any other paid boxes. So we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Seth Gershenson takes it home. Seth Gershenson with the Pete Alonso 2 as your top card. So congrats on all these. Go ahead and round up the five-star. And we'll move ahead. A couple Hall of Famers in there. A couple future Hall of Famers. Pete Alonso, potential future MVP. All going to Seth Gershenson. And now that takes us to our next spot. Let's go ahead and do... What do I want to do next? We've got Stadium Club. We've got Pro Debut. We've got Series 2 Jumbos. We've got Bowman Draft Light. We've got 2021 Update Hangers. I think I want to go ahead next and uh, let's do some let's do some Bowman Draft Light next because why not? Bowman Draft Light. Jammer says, "Okay, it's poll time. You pick. Fine, you guys can pick. Let's go ahead and put up a poll right now. Uh, all right, so start a poll. I'm only going to leave this open for a minute. What what should we open next? You pick." So is it 2022 Stadium Club? Is it 2022 Bowman Draft Light? Is it um, 2022 Pro Debut Jumbos? I can only do four options here. Or is it 2022 Tops Series 2 Jumbos? Here's the poll right now. It's coming up at you. I'm going to guess it's going to be Draft Light, but I might be totally wrong. So I'm just going to prepare like it's going to be Draft Light. All right, the, the results are coming in. Stadium Club currently is leading with the 33% of the people that have voted. Now Bowman Draft Light has taken over. Now Stadium Club has taken over. Now Bowman Draft Light has taken over again. Wow, it's actually a pretty close matchup between those two with 87 votes in already. Uh, Stadium Club is up 31 to 29%. Man, I feel like this is a presidential election right here with just a uh, super close toss-up. Stadium Club is up 32 to 29 as they are pulling ahead now. 32 to 28. Top, series 2, not too far behind. Pretty even distribution here, but Stadium Club is up 34 to 27. I think Stadium Club, surprisingly, at least in my eyes, I thought that it was going to be Bone Draft Light. But it's going to be Stadium Club taking the cake at 36 to 28%. So thanks to those of you that voted. Let me go and grab the case of Stadium Club, and we will run that one. So... Let me grab that right now. Stadium Club. All righty. Okay. This case is directly from Tops, by the way. You can buy cases from them every now and then. And I just was like, eh. I had, uh, I think I grabbed five or six cases from my guy out in LA that grabs them from a distributor. And then when they went on sale on Topps website, they were cheaper than I paid from the distributor. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab a case from Topps. So here we go. Stadium Club. Let's bring the names in. Where are they at? Here they are. There's not a ton of numbered cards in Stadium Club, but there, I'm going to end this poll now because Stadium Club ran away with it. We'll do Bowen Draft Light next since that was second place at 28%. All right, so here we go, Stadium Club. Not a lot of number cards, but there are, are autographs in here, so that's a positive. Robert Conroy is going to start things off. There's a Beau Bichette, big old box topper. Boss Man's in the house. What's up, boss? There they all are. If you'd like to grab a spot in this round, by the way, if you're wondering how many spots are available and whatnot, there's 48 spots sold. 
currently. So not a ton of spots sold. If you want to grab a spot, you can do so. If we don't find a numbered card in those 48 packs, then we will just randomize it. Clinton says, hit that like button. Booger said so. All right, Clinton, thank you very much for being a channel member. And here we go. They got some upside down cards. Hey, autograph in the first pack, Paul O'Neill. Very nice card right there. Polly, I like that card. And by the way, it is numbered. It is a red foil, so it is numbered a 39 out of 50. 39 out of 50. I was just going to leave it up there to put on display because Paul O'Neill was, during the Yankees run there, I really, really liked. Um, Mariano Rivera was my favorite, and Paul O'Neill was my second favorite. So Robert Conroy with one pack, with all it takes, might run the table here. 39 is not great, but it's it's okay. Carrie's up next. It spots two and three. Let's see what we can find for Carrie here. Looks like I have a mangled card coming down the pike. It's going to be a Carrie Wood just ripped up on both sides. I don't know what the heck happened to that one. We're looking for foil, different colors of foil. The Vlad's are red. Those aren't numbered. The black foils aren't numbered either. But if you find a blue foil, that will be numbered. If you find like a rainbow foil, that's numbered as well. So unfortunately, carries out. Here's Joe Denner. Joe Denner spread them out a couple weeks round. Let's see if we can find for Joe Denner in spots four and five of this round. There's two autographs per box, so we will have another autograph. And here it is. It's a regular Connor Wong. Connor Wong, auto. Bo Bichette there as well. And there's Patrick Wisdom, red foil. Hans Kraus, I didn't realize he was that tatted up. And Joe Denner is out. Travis Williams coming up next at spot six and seven. So we can find for Travis here. Lindsey Clark says, fingers crossed. Lindsey is in this break here coming up soon. Bobby Witt, that's a nice card right there. It's not numbered. The black and white's not numbered. There's the back of the card to prove it. And continuing on down this stack, we'll see what else we have. There should be one Chrome card. There's the J-Rod. Yvon Castillo Red, not numbered. One Chrome card per box. So Travis is out. 18 packs per box as well. Here's Mr. Marlin. William Gentry. I mean, you have to be Mr. Marlin now. What's, what's the chance of that, man? He had a 1 in 30 chance. The last three breaks you're in. What is that three to the third power? Is that the chance? Is that how it works? What are the chances? Um, Andrew says, isn't the Paul Nail red foil in its number? Yeah, 39. We already checked that one out. I think you might be on a little bit of a lag, but here we go for William Gentry. Bobby Witt Jr. Power Zone. That's a nice car. Let's sleeve that one up, although it's not numbered. Got the two autographs out of this box already. Salvador Perez, Lou Gehrig, and Francisco Lindor is at the back end there. So Williams out. Daniel Gale's up next with three. Gregory's not a huge fan of Stadium Club. Some people love it. Some people are just meh on it. I wish there was more numbered cards. That would be cool. It's maybe, what, one or one numbered card per box on average, if that. Jose Altuve, red foil. Baseball's good. Says, how do we know when the things from Christmas have shipped? There's still a couple left, but uh, most of them have shipped. I would say I shipped about 80 to 90% of them. I have to go back now and go through all my emails from Christmas Day because I just want to make sure I didn't skip anybody. I still, I know I still have to do the kitchen sink, and I still have to do the wander picture. I still have to do the, I have Zach Klein stuff here. And then there's like 15 to 20 things that were unclaimed. So I'll go through. There's also somebody that claimed a prize without even giving me their address. So I wrote back to them, put their stuff off the side. Hopefully they got back to me. For the missing address stuff, sometimes that gets put put off the side and forgotten about for sometimes weeks. So always have your address there. Here's four for Lindsay. Um, let's see what we can find for you here, Lindsay. One, two, three, and four. Four. Good luck. Hope we can find something for you. And I misspoke. It's 16 packs, not 18. There's four packs, four stacks of four packs in here. So you get one in your next box. Someone found the numbered 
chrome card. Now, it's not always numbered. Hey, that's the chrome card right there. Sometimes these will be refractors and numbered, but that's a beautiful Spencer Torkelson card that is not numbered. Will there be a Stadium Club chrome this year? There was last year. I don't think there's one this year, but I don't know. Anthony Rizzo, black again. The black border cards aren't numbered. So blacks and reds, we usually just skip those over because they're not numbered. And they are kind of common. Miguel Cabrera, not numbered. O'Neill Cruz. Hunter Green is in there as well. It's a red, but it's not numbered. Ryan Howard and Jordan Alvarez, along with the Andrew Jones, who's trying to get into the Hall of Fame. So, Lindsay, you have one more pack coming your way. Let me grab the next box. Let's see what else we have coming up. Mookie Betts is the next box topper. Get these 16 packs out of here. Clint says, I just think that the photography pops with the, stadi uh, with the Stadium Club Chrome. You're right. It really does look nice. Here's Lindsay's final pack. Barry Larkin's on the back. And looks like this is one of those infamous packs that are flipped every which way. Nothing going on there. So we move on to the next pack. Zach C, AK Douglas Collectibles. See what we can find for you. Joseph Swift just became a Patreon member. Thank you for signing up, Joseph. Really appreciate that. Nothing in there, unfortunately, for Zach C. Kevin Newman's up next with three. One, two, and three. Nolan Arenado Black foil, which is not numbered. Some of these cards always want to stick together a little bit. We've got in, like these two. Aaron Judge Power Zone with the Tatis. Tatis will be coming back in, I think, early May of 2023. It'll be interesting to see what he has up his sleeve. I'm sure he's really super motivated to go all out. There's Conseco, so Kevin's out. Next up, Giovanni. Spots numbered 22 to 25 with four. And Austin says, I heard Top Series 1 is already delayed. Why? Is it because they can't get the 2021 releases out? Like, I think we're still due Top's Gold Label and some other 2020, 2021 releases. That stinks. I'm really looking forward to 2023 Tops. All right, here we go, Giovanni. With your four packs, there's Daryl Strawberry. Pulled his autograph in Throwback Thursday this past week. Got John Means right there and a Sean Murphy. Juan Soto. Flip these over. Ozzie Smith doing a flip. Bob Gibson. And Jack Flaherty sticking to that other card, sort of. Cole says, yes, it's delayed. Um, do they have a new release time, new release date? At least they let us know early. There's a Joey Del Destiny card. And Giovanni is out. Casey's up next with three. <laughs> Clinton says, why is it delayed? Are they trying to double last year's print run? That would be awful. It'll be, we'll have to, you know, you can tell. You just got to look at the odds. If you see the real easy way to look is just look at the gold odds. If the gold odds get worse, that means they printed more. And we have Yanni Hernandez is the next autograph. It is a regular auto. Is the name is still in silver. Dave says trying to sell them. So did they delay it so they can try to sell more um, to the distributors and stuff like that? Some more pre-orders? I don't know. Mark McGuire red. Chrome of Brandon Marsh. It's just a regular chrome card. It won't be numbered, but we'll show you the back anyway. Brandon Marsh. Got Reggie Jackson. Trumvert card not numbered. And Casey is out. Thank you, Casey. Lauren's up next. Spot number 29. Like I said, we got 48 spots of Stadium Club chrome here. Another autograph. Juan Yepes will be coming at us here in a second. There it is, Juan Yepes. Seems like he's signed a bunch. 
Unfortunately, no numbered cards in Lauren's pack. Spot number 30 to 34. Here's three for Torqued Up. You, you're going to get two more coming at you in the next box, Torqued. Let's see what we got here. Ryan Mountcastle Red. It's Frank Thomas. Keith Hernandez. I wish they're all... I feel like I opened a case before all the cards were going the same way of Stadium Club, and now they're all back to being flipped around. I think my least favorite packs to open ever, like 1990 and 1991 Upper Deck. It's like every card is... Every other card is flipped over. It's like they did it just to drive you crazy. So torqued up, let me grab the next box and two more packs for you. Jose Abreu is going to be the next box topper. This could potentially be the last box of this round. We'll see. Sam Club kind of a short round tonight. Any promising Amazon card buys? I did buy... Um, it's, I already sold the spot, though. Because it might not be terrible. It could be awful. It could be absolute crap, or it could be great. I don't know. It could be just average. It's called, called Cosmic Collections or something like that from Amazon. And it has, it, I think it said one or two guaranteed hits, as in autographs or relics per box. Per Actually, it's more like per jewel case. They have them in like 100 count jewel cases. I figure we'll give it a try. And um, P. Wart grabbed that spot. Here's two more packs for Torqued Up. Did I shuffle these already? Could it be Crapstone? I, I actually left Crapstone out tonight. I figured, eh, maybe we'll just uh, save the crap stone for the Team Break Tuesdays. Let's see if we can find for Torqued Up. It's Trevor Rogers. It's a red. You guarantee it's crap if it's in a jewel case. Well, it, yeah, that's. I actually said that when I sold the spot. I was like, this could be crap, but it does have a... Um, it does have a feedback rating of 4.3 out of 5. And a $50 Super Chat just popped up. It is from Dream It Cards and Gaming. It says, thank you, Abs. You do a lot for the hobby. I'm not even close to being an expert of the hobby, but I love to rip. I currently have only 29 followers, so any help from the community would be awesome. Oh, and make sure you get a hot coffee for Heather. Dream It Cards and Gaming with a $50 Super Chat. Could, could we potentially double their um, subscribership right now? They're at 29. Could we maybe get them to 60? That would be awesome. Dream It Cards and Gaming. Thank you very much for the $50 Super Chat. Hobby Hound and The Mix both have the link to their channel. Go over there and give them some support. I really appreciate you supporting my channel here tonight. Very, very generous Super Chat. And while you're looking at their channel, I'm going to fill out a couple of these uh, little cards here because these payments came in live. So check them out while I take just about 30 to 40 seconds to get these cards filled out. So Adam Winterhouse, Baseball Card Outlet, be after them. It spots 38 to 40 with three packs. Brett Marceau is at 41 to 43 with three. Nick Domino is in the house. Says, I won three rounds in one night. <laughs> oh, I remember that. That's right. Nick Domino may have had the most wins of 2022, maybe. We weren't tracking it, though. I think this year would be kind of fun to track it. All because of Steven Shoemaker, who was claiming he was the champion. And there's no way to verify it. He definitely was up there, but I couldn't, couldn't with 100% confidence say, indeed, he was the champion. All right, Joseph Murray, I've got your spot. So... A couple more people have grabbed some spots in here while you're checking out Dream It's channel. And those people are going to be, after uh, we sent that uh, refund there, Daniel Tazi with a grand total of 10. So Daniel Tazi will have 49 through 58 with 10 packs. And Turtle B, Zachary Thurlby, will have 59 and 60. William Weeks is grabbing some spots at 61 and 62. Sean McElroy is grabbing some spots at 63 and 64. Check that. He's grabbing some spots, but not in Stadium Club. 
He's grabbing some spots of the hanger boxes. So Sean McElroy at 29 and 30 in the hanger box round. And uh, Heber is grabbing three spots in the stadium club. So you'll be at 63, 64, and 65. So I think we're all up to date. We'll continue to add payments as they go. But let's go ahead and get into this. What's Dream It At? Can someone give me his live subscriber count? I would love to double his subscribership. That'd be awesome if we can get him. There's Jaron Duran. We have a Walker Bueller Gold Chrome. It's not numbered. We'll get that one sleeved up, though. Joe Denner. Very diversified tonight in multiple rounds. Did you get Jeff Martinovich for three spots? Not yet, but uh, I'll double-check again. Jeff Martinovich. Uh, I, I have you at 44 to 46, so yeah, I got you in there already. If, if you just sent over, I didn't, but I did have those previous three. All right, Adam, here we go. 36 and 37. Lead cards are 39, so this is a very, very, um, very, very winnable round here. It's not very solid. Nick Castellanos Black, not numbered. James Austin Sports Card says, I got five stadium clubs. All right, James Austin, I don't see your name yet, but I will hit the refresh button and see if you sent over recently. Unless your name is torqued up, if that's your real name. We got you in there for five already. All right, so Adam is out. Baseball card outlet with three. One. Two. And three. So baseball card outlet. I think his real name was Tatis something or other. So we'll see if you can find something here. Red Tatis. Buster Posey, something sticking to it. John Means, Marcus Stroman. And he doubled. Hey, we did it. You went from 29 to 63. Thanks, guys, for helping his channel grow so fast. Dream It, thank you very much for the super chat. I'm really glad that we were able to help you double in your membership over there. And thank you so much for supporting the channel once again. Sondra, how's it going? Doing well here. Nothing in there for baseball card outlet. Brett Mars is up next with three. One, two, and three. 39 is still the lead card. I did see some more payments that have come in after Heber. It's five packs for James Thomas. We'll get you in there in a second. Joe Adele. Not numbered. Good old Alejo Lopez right there. We're doing Bowman Draft Light next after this. So lots of Ray Wave parallels. Steve says, I'll take two hangers. There's still, there's 64 hangers in a case. So there's plenty if you want to take them. Randy Johnson, not numbered. Nolan Ryan, Tremverick card, not numbered either. And. Nothing else there for Brett. So Brett is out. Jeff, you're up now with three. Joshua Wallops just signed up on Patreon. Thanks, Joshua. I appreciate that. So we got for Jeff M here. I've lost track of how many autographs we've pulled from this box so far. Hey, that's a red Ronald Acuna Jr. However, it's not numbered. Darn it. The red and the black foils. Sometimes you see you're like, oh, that might be numbered. Then you remember, no. Stadium Club. Hey, we have a redemption. Remember, redemptions don't count unless they say Super Fracture Printing Plate. It is a base card autograph of Hunter Green. Nice auto right there. Wow, you got two in the same pack. What about this? A double autograph pack. Reed Detmers. Mr. No Hitter's in there as well. So Reed Detmers and Hunter Green in the exact same pack. Very, very nice. I would have been super stoked if that had happened if I could go to the store and just grab one pack at the hobby store and it has that in there. Two autos, one pack. We'll take that. Unfortunately, Jeff, no numbered cards in there. Joseph Murray has the last two packs here of this box. Then we'll continue on. See, Justin Collins just sent in a payment for something. We'll check those out here in a second, get them updated. Because I need to fill out some more cards for this particular round as well. As people are grabbing spots, they sense that 39 is weak. Hey, Curtis Terry. Hey, it's just throwing. Curtis Terry, not a great autograph. But 
that's the third autograph of the box altogether. So, unfortunately, Joseph is out, which now will take us into a big run here. Daniel Tazi has 49 to 58. Daniel Tazi with 10 packs coming up here. Bowman Draft Light, there's still plenty of spots left in that round as well. 69 to 59 to uh, 60s for Turtle B with two packs. 61 to 62 is for William Weeks with two. And 63 to 65 is for Heber Maureen. Or Heber Morin. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And James Thomas has grabbed five packs. So, James, you're going to have spots 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So, 66 to 70 for James Thomas. Get your name on him. Kevin Newman as well, grabbing three packs, 71 to 73. All right, let's get back to ripping now. Good luck, everybody. Daniel Tazi up first. So the rest of those names after him. Also, Justin Collins at five spots in pro debut. So we'll get your name over there. And now we'll get into it. So, Justin, you'll be at 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 in pro debut. Daniel Tazi with 10 in this next round of Stadium Club. See what we can find in here. There's a Pete Alonso. That's kind of a cool card with all that gum flying out there. <laughs> Mark says, Come on, Tazi. All right, here we go. There's so far 39 has been the only numbered card, so it is up for grabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. A new member alert says the mix adam wallace adam thank you so much for signing up i really appreciate that <coughs> welcome check us out in our next auction tomorrow night to get some perks during those auctions and now here we go for daniel tozzi with 10 packs looks like there might maybe some payments come in here i think i just got three within the last minute now four check those all out here as we go along Bowman Draft Light is going to be next. Then after that, we'll do probably the Series 2 Jumbos. Happy New Year to you, too, What the Kraken. See if we can pull that J-Rod short print or maybe a J-Rod auto. He's got autographs in that as well. Triumvirate Mookie Betts, not numbered. Let's sleeve it up, even though those die-cut cards are a little tough to sleeve. Christian Yelich right there. Bobby Witt Jr. is upside down. It's not numbered. It's a Destiny card. Matt Brash. Yvonne Rodriguez. Red Foil, not numbered. Jim Abbott. Joe Carter. Hey, Tony Santillan is going to be the next autograph. Swing of the bat there. Kind of, you don't see that anymore. A pitcher swinging the bat. Just a regular autograph, by the way. Not numbered. Will Smith, team future, team of the future. It's Daniel still looking for his first numbered card here. And we have a beam team. You don't see these too often. A nice beam team Juan Soto card right there. First beam team so far of this case. We'll get that one sleeved up. Right, wow, that's awesome. Look at this, guys. Right out of the pack. PSA 1. Look at this giant crease in this card. What the heck? Fresh out of the pack and destroyed. Looks like it got clamped down and I don't even know, bent in half. Oh, good thing that's not a good, like, uh, I mean, Mountcastle's a good player, but that card is, you know, maybe find that in a quarter box somewhere. It's not a particularly valuable card, but this one is a Chipper Jones Stadium Club Chrome autograph right there. Man, Daniel Tazi with some luck right there. A beautiful Chipper Jones. It is numbered... Six out of 25, which means, Daniel Tazi, you're taking over in this box where the Paul O'Neill has been knocked out. Paul O'Neill, a great player, but Chipper Jones, a Hall of Famer and former MVP. That's our second 
Awesome Chipper Jones autograph pool in as many nights. Daniel Tazi takes over. Congratulations. Six is the new top number for Daniel Tazi. He still has a few more cards left to go through. So there you go, Daniel Tazi with the big card right there. Chipper Jones. We'll see if anyone's going to take it away from you now. How about that? From I wonder if the Chipper Jones had anything to do with that. Why is this card bent? Like, there's multiple cards in this. Like, see the slight crease there? What the heck is going on with this particular box? I wonder if that Chipper Jones being inserted had anything to do with that previous card right before it being destroyed in the Ryan Mountcastle. Kind of weird right there. Man, good thing the uh, Chipper Jones wasn't destroyed like that, though. So, Daniel Tazi, that's your run of packs. Congratulations. Robert Conroy, thank you very much. But you were eliminated there. You had, you had a nice run there, 50-some packs. Just couldn't hang on the full way. Turtle B is coming up next. Turtle B coming in at spot number 59 and 60. So, let's see what we can find for you here. And like I said, I saw like four payments come in there all real quickly. So I think a couple more payments came in once that Chipper Jones came out. So another just destroyed card. The sides are crimped down. Chipper Jones black foil, not numbered there. Dontrell Willis. C.J. Abrams. That's a nice refractor. Chrome refractor, not numbered. Willis Red, not numbered, and O'Neill Cruz there. So Tur Turtle B is out. William Weeks is up next at 61 and 62. So we can find for William. Another chip. That's like three Chipper Jones in the last like five packs. He is coming to play today. Got a Hannes Wagner Red, Ryan Blade, and there is a Redemption Blue coming up. So remember, Redemptions don't count unless they say Super Fractor. Oh, never mind. Matt Olson faked me out. It's just a power zone card. I saw that light blue and thought it was a redemption coming down the pike. Nothing else in there for William Weeks. Heber is coming up next at 63 to 65. So here's two of your packs. I'm going to owe you one in the next round or next box. Let's finish this one off. Another payment came in. So I'm going to update the payments as we go. Another destroyed corner right there on that Kyle Lewis. Alec Manoa Black, not going to be numbered. Black foils aren't numbered. And Reese Hoskins. So I owe Heber one more pack from this next box. Before I get into this next box, I would like to update a couple payments here because there was a bunch that came in. Justin Collins wants four spots in Stadium Club. Justin Collins going after the... Chipper Jones, so you'll be at 74 to 77. Tim Grewell at 78 and 79. Joe Denner coming back for three in Stadium Club at 80, 81, and 82. Torqued Up Grudge is going after the Chipper Jones. Torqued Up Grudge with six packs. So you'll be at 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88. Steven, Steven S. is going to get in as well, but he's going for some Bowman Draft Light. Steven is so stack at 32 and 33 over there. Let me just get all these payments updated because a lot of payments came in once that Chipper Jones came out. Nick Domino is going for 10 Bowman Draft Lights. So Nick Domino, well, you'll be at 34 to 43 in Bowman Draft Light and James Harp grabbing four... Hanger boxes. James Harp at 31, 32, 33, and 34. All right, I think we're up to date now, at least for the time being. Let's check out Heber's final pack here. Mookie Betts is the box topper. Mix these around a little bit. And we'll check out your final pack here, Heber, and see what's going on. So let's see, Berrios is in there. Xander, black foil. Man, finally a pack. I love it. I love it. A pack where no cards are flipped upside down. Why can't every box be like that? James Thomas has five. One, two, three, four, and here's five. It would be great if every box was this way. Wouldn't have to flip them right side up all the time. 
go back and forth. I hope this whole box is that way. That would be awesome. All right, James. Here's your five packs. Chipper Jones, the lead card right now with a six. And we're back to flipping them over again. Credit worth is a red, so they flip it over. Something sticking to that Stevenson. It's a Dave Stewart. Power Zone card of Bryce Harper, not numbered. So there's Torkelson. Locaine's got something sticking to him. Two cards sticking to him. Bo Bichette and Kyle Schwarber. Giancarlo Stanton, Power Zone. Also not numbered. There are still spots left in the stadium club. Yes, indeed. Plenty of spots, actually. I think we're at like 80 or some spots sold out of... Probably only like half sold out. So plenty of spots still up for grabs. Here's a Triumvirate Mike Trout card. We'll get it sleeved up. Reed Detmers is the Stadium Club Chrome. It's not numbered. One of those per box on average. And these three, Del Murphy, ends it off. Coming up next, it's Kevin Newman. And after Kevin Newman, a couple more name cards to fill out real quick. We got Justin Collins at 74 to 77 with five. Then we got Tim Grewell at 78 to 79 with two. Then it spots 80 through 82. Joe Denner's coming back with three. And then 83, and this will be the last ones unless people continue to grab spots. It's torqued up garage with six packs at 83 to 88. Let's get back to it. Kevin Newman right now. Here's your three. Greg Diekman right there on the top. Luis Robert and Zach Thompson. Thompson was just DFA'd by the Pirates, and there's his autograph. So probably won't see him in a Bucco uniform. He'll probably pop up somewhere. He's more of a back end of the rotation pitcher. Might see him a fourth or fifth starter on your team soon. Sterling Marte, Red, Keith Hernandez, Jared Walsh, Byron Buxton is going to be a red foil. And that will do it for Kev. Next up, it's Justin Collins with five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's check out what we have for JC here. Jeremy Pena on the top. Pretty cool when the best card is also the lowest numbered card. That Chipper Jones up there, still best card. Six is the number on it. Jose Siri, red foil for Justin. These base cards always want to stick together. There's a Pujols Power Zone card. Another payment just came in from somebody. I'll have to check that out. There's Tory Hunter Black. Joe Ryan right there. Ozzie Smith. It's a red foil. We've got Randy Johnson, Jeremy Pena there, Marcus Semyon. It's a red foil. And now we are into our next spot. So Tim Grewell coming up next. Good luck, Tim. You've got the last two packs of this box. Seventy-four to seventy-seven to five. Did I make an error? Hmm, I'm glad you said that. Let me double check that. 74 to 77.5. That's 74, 75, 76, 77. Oh, yes. I shorted him one pack. You're right, Tim Grewell. Let's undo this. One, two, three, four. Looks like I may have made an error here. So we'll split the pack and um, figure this out here. So there's eight cards per pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these were actually, should have been four. Justin Collins and nothing in there. Now, Tim, here's yours, and then I'm going to owe you one more pack. There's Wander Franco. Thanks for catching my, my bad math there. Max Kranick. And Tim, we owe you one more in the next box. So let's go ahead and see. This, by the way, is going to be the last box coming up. If you'd like to grab a spot, you can do so. Good luck, Tim. Wow. Julio Rodriguez box topper. That's 
That's sick right there. That's a great box topper. Very, very nice one right there. That box topper is probably, who knows? I don't have no idea what that goes for. Probably a good bit. Sometimes box toppers will go for 40, 50, 60 bucks. Nothing going on in this pack, it looks like, for you, Tim. So, we are now down to just a few more packs left to go. Joe Denner coming up next with three. We're doing the Bowman Draft Light next. The mix says, I would buy a frame at the dollar store and frame up that J-Rod. Yeah, that's a beautiful card right there, that box star for J-Rod. Gorgeous, very, very nice. I see Michael Palumbo sent in for Bowman Draft Light. So Michael Palumbo, we're doing that one next. Um, didn't tell me how many spots though, which is always very confusing. So I gotta figure it out now. Let me do the math there. So that's your total divided by that. That's gonna be five spots. So Michael Palumbo. Five spots in Bowman Draft, which is up next. And James Thomas sent in five packs for UK. The problem is, though, James, we already did Tops UK. So that's already done. So if you'd like me to refund that, I can. Or we can, can put it somewhere else. You can put it towards Bowman Draft Light if you'd want to. Um, you can let me know, James Thomas. But UK is in the books. Let's see what we have for Joe Denner here in his three. Super Jones, six. Going to be a tough one to beat, but we'll see if Joe's got it in him. He's already got one box war win tonight. We already did five stars. I'll tell you what we've got left. We have Stadium Club, which is about ready to end. Like, literally, like, right now. Torqued Up Grudge, I think, is the last person in this round. And then we got Bowman Draft Light coming up next. So Bowman Draft Light is next. Then we have Series 2 Jumbos left. Uh, we have... Pro debut jumbos, and we also have 2021 update hanger boxes. Here's torqued up with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we can find for you here, torqued up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Bowman Draft Light. Looking forward to maybe trying to pull. Jackson Holiday, maybe nice. It'd be nice to find an autograph. Stadium Club is no, it's not sold out. It's about ready to end. Ross, this is it's currently the last contestant in Stadium Club. We moved on to Bowman Draft Light in just one second. Also, James Thomas, let me know what to do with that UK payment that you sent over just now. We've just we finished UK maybe about forty five minutes ago or so. Nothing yet for you torqued up. There's a Kyle Muller. It's probably a black or a red. It's actually the chrome. The Julio box topper goes for 30 bucks. says Cole, not too bad. Last couple cards here. Of this round. And there's another autograph. Angel Zerpa. Angel Zerpa. Not numbered. There's the back. That'll do it, it looks like. So, Daniel Tazi, not a ton of numbered cards in Stadium Club Chrome, but you found what you needed to find there with the Chipper Jones, six out of 25. Congratulations, Daniel Tazi. You've got all the box toppers coming your way and all of the base will be coming along. Those extra packs, I'll just save those and put them in my extra pack stack. I'll use those for something, either auction them off or maybe a random pack opening or something like that. So... Daniel, thank you. Your stuff is put away. And now it's time for Bowman Draft Light. Come up next. Here's all the names. Let's go ahead and start ripping into these. Right now, Get a couple boxes ready to go here. For all you prospectors out there, there is 10 packs per box. In this round, we have 48 packs sold, so we're doing at least five boxes of this. At least five, maybe more. Mixes, if you wanna put 60 seconds on the timer, get a water break. Not yet, 
but thank you. Not, I, I took a nice big drink of water before going live. Got our first number card. It's a really good one. Kevin Parada is one of the top five prospects for this set. It is a 216 out of 250. So a nice card right there to lead us off. By the way, the refractors, which you'll see one per pack. They're not numbered. So congratulations on that one, Robert. Off to a good start for you yet again. Pack number two through seven with six. Jason Sawyer with six of these bad boys. So there you go. There's six. These are all for you. So we can find for Jason here and his six packs. I'll do them probably two at a time. The Ray Waves aren't numbered, in case you're wondering. I'll show you the backs. Jason Dominguez right there. Some more paper. And we got a blue for you. It is going to be a William Kemper. It is going to be a 120, which will put you on top now. So... Jason Sawyer 120 is now the new lead card. I'm going to open the rest of your packs and not lifeline them for you because I don't think that's going to be quite good enough. There's Chandler Simpson as well. We'll get that one sleeved up. A first Ray Wave of his. Not too shabby at all. Start a new 3,200 count box to put all these bad boys in. Let's do your other packs. Mick says, James Thomas above. Where is he at? I don't see him. I don't see him. James Thomas, who sent in a payment for UK, which was sold out. I don't see it. I'm James Thomas. So James Austin sports cards. All right. So what did he say exactly? James Austin. I sent the difference to have five packs in Bowman Draft. All right, man. So perfect. We will take care of you and get you in this round. Let's take care of Jason right now and see what he can find. Someone's Hey, you find a green. That's all you really need to do right now at this juncture of this round. Those greens are out of 99. Thanks, Mix, for keeping out for that. I would have missed that. Sometimes it's tough to pay attention to everything going on at once. There's Shailene Polanco. Got a Jimmy Crooks. Uh, Nate Furman, look at that. I th almost thought that was a Topps Holiday Christmas Santa Belt parallel right there for a second. Jimmy Crooks, Ray Wave is the next one right there for you. Let's finish Jason's packs. He's the top dog right now. And James, we did get that payment, so we're going to put you in for five in Bowman Draft Light. Get you added here in a second. Let's see what we can find from Jason's other packs. Nothing yet. There's your paper. Roderick Arias is in there. Here's all your chromes. Marcella Meyer is a nice one. Nice refractor. And a Rain Duncan is going to be the Ray Wave. Again, Ray Waves aren't numbered, but still cool cards. Get them sleeved up. So, Jason, you're the top dog right now. Let me go ahead and get James Thomas added in just so I don't forget. James Thomas, you're going to be at 49, 50, 51, 52, and also 53. All right, coming up next, we got Travis Williams. Travis has two packs here. Hey, crazy boy. So we can find for Travis in spots eight and nine. Flip these around and see what's going on here. Oh, there's a sky blue. The sky blue chromes, though, aren't numbered, which is a little frustrating. It's Jacob Miller. You'll see the back. There's no number on the back of the sky blues. Jackson Holiday will get that one sleeved up. Ray Wave of Alex De Jesus as well in there. So Travis is out. And Tim Grewell coming up at spot number 10 and 11. So here's one pack. I'll get one out of the next one for you as well. Kumar Rocker first is in there. And the last Ray Wave of box number one is going to be Rosemont Verdugo. Time for box number two of Bowman Draft. Light. Tim with another pack coming to him. Shuffle him around a little bit. CR says, are these Bowman draft boxes, 450 box? I didn't get a single Ray Wave. The Ray Waves are only in Bowman draft light. So it sounds like you probably got a Bowman draft jumbo box which do not have the Ray Waves, but do have a much higher frequency of autographs with three per box. 
with the Bowman Draft lights, from my experience, it's been about one in every three light boxes on average to give you an autograph. Tim, unfortunately, is out. Daniel, spot number 12. And we've got Brady House Refractor, not numbered. There's a Ray Wave of Nate Furman. It is his first, so that's kind of cool. Mr. Santa Belt. All right, so um, Daniel's out. Coming up next with, is Chris. Good luck to Chris. And you have three packs, so here's your three. Chris Burns, there's pack one, here's pack two, and here's pack number three for you. There's the Chromes. Henry Davis right there, Refractor, former number one pick in the nation. Ray Wave of Jonathan Mejia. Jonathan Class A is there. Andrew Pintar, Jonathan Class A once again. And we've got some chromes. Henry Bolt is the refractor. Unfortunately, Chris, nothing numbered there. Next up, Joe Denner back again. Spots 16 and 17. Good luck to you. Denzer Guzman. And another Ray Wave coming up at the back end. No numbered cards yet that I can see in this pack. It's Nick Bittison. Nick Bittison, Ray Wave. So Ray Waves aren't numbered. So Joe, you're out. Mr. Marlin. It's going to be William Gentry. No doubt he's going to have probably a Khalil Watson in his box. Let's see if we can find an 8 to 19 in his packs, rather. Chase DeLauder is a good one. Henry Davis leads things off with the papers. JL, nice. Chase DeLauder, Ray Wave is a very good card right there. Oh, Jose Salas is going to be your Marlins hit this time. Fortunately, no numbered cards in Williams. And pack number 20 to finish off this box. It's for Phil Mazuski. So, Phil, what do we got going on here? Jonathan Class says at the back end. It's just going to be a regular refractor. Elijah Green. First time seeing Elijah Green and Jackson Holiday. Took two boxes to find them. We'll get those ones sleeved up as those are the two biggest names in Bowman Draft. And we're moving on to the next box. James B is going to start off box number three with three packs. Best of luck to you. Go ahead and shuffle these around a tad. I don't think the last box had any numbered cards in it. Maybe this one will change that. What's worse, those Target Blasters or that Triple Threads mini box from the other day? Oh, the Triple Threads mini box is worse because I was expecting... I was expecting much more than that for a $200 plus dollar box. I wasn't expecting too much out of the cut autos. I mean, I thought we were going to find, like, just kind of, like lesser name Hall of Famers that really aren't worth that much. Maybe like Lee Smith Auto or something like that. Or maybe even umpire autos or former front office autos. But a lot of football autos in it. There's Willie Vasquez, Ray Wave. Got Ellie De La Cruz and a numbered card here. It is a green, which will do it. James B has taken over. The 120 falls. This is out of 99, so automatically it's going to take over. It is a 69 out of 99, so James B, you're the new top dog with a 69 of 99 card. Leading the way, Ray Wave of Ignacio Alvarez right there as well. And we'll see what else we have. Another green, man, that's a good one. Jackson Chorio out of 99, 41, even better. 41 of 99. Better card, better player. 41 is now the number to beat. Elijah Green, man, just missed out on Jackson Holiday by one card in that pack. But, James, you are on top. Dean Fowler coming up next with two. Yeah, the greens are very nice-looking cards. I like them. They, they pop pretty nicely on this Bowman design. 
So Dean Fowler up right now. Brooks Lee, paper in there. Kumar Rocker, Chrome. Ray Wave coming up. It's going to be Roberto Campos. And Dean Fowler, unfortunately, is out. John Miller up next at spot number 26. We are currently about halfway through the bone wraps. There's 53 spots sold. We're on 26. And we've got one of those infamous sky blue cards that don't really do anything for you because they're not numbered. You can see the back, not numbered. I guess we'll still toss it in a sleeve since it's a parallel and all. Dustin Harris as well in their Ray Wave. So John is out. And Raul Vasquez coming up at 27 and 28. Good luck to you, Raul. Let's see what we can find here. The top card, not uh, not super low numbered. It's a 41 right now. I would say Solace right there. It's going to be just a refractor. And Raul Vasquez is out. Moving along, we got to make some more cards or fill out some more cards here. Who's coming up next after Raul Vasquez in the lineup? It's spot number 29. Give me a second to fill out a couple of these. Put a box on the screen so you know another one's coming up soon. Spot number 29, it's for Robert Wozniak. Spot number 30 to 31. It's for Jeffrey Hayes. Spot number 32 and 33. It's for Steven Sostak. With two. It's spot 34 through 43. Nick Domino's got a nice run of 10. We'll see what he can do in that nice stretch at 44. Through 48 with five, it's Michael Palumbo. And then I got one more to do, and I'll be all caught up. Spot 49 to 53. It's James Thomas, who also has five. All right, we'll continue to update these as we go along for people that are sending in payments late. It's going to rip the next pack here. Robert up now. That's spot number 29. We've got a sky blue in there. Termar Johnson's a good one. Justin Campbell, it won't be numbered. There's the back of it, just to prove it. We've got a Ray Wave coming up as well. It's going to be Carson Williams. Ray Wave will get it sleeved up, but Robert is out. Next up, 30 for Jeffrey. We'll get you one in the next box also. Christian Vaccaro base in there. Kyle Manzarato, and there's Jackson Holiday. You got separated from the Elijah Green in that box earlier. All right, we owe you one more pack, Jeffrey. Pack number 31. Let's get it for you. Daniel says, like Spike. If we hit 300 jabs, I will thank everyone in Spanish. Let's go. All right, here we go, Jeffrey. Spot number 31. We've got a Brandon Barriera. That's a sky blue and Elijah Green. We'll sleeve that one up also. Christian Vaccaro, Ray Wave is a nice one. Christian Vaccaro. Steven's up next at 32 and 33. There's Landon Sims. And we've got a Sky Blue that's not a Chrome. It'll be numbered. The paper Sky Blues are numbered. Ryan Ritter's a 375 of 499. Chrome Sky Blues, not numbered. Paper R. There's a Jake Bennett is our next Ray Wave card. And that is it 
for Steven. Next up at spot number 34 through 43 with 10, Nick Domino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to owe him three more in the next box. Let's see what we can do here for you, Nick, at oh, almost 11 p.m. Eastern time. There's Elijah Green. Jackson Holiday should be right after him. There he is. Ray Wave of Eddie L. Almador. I don't think I see any numbered card. It's coming down the pike here. Sometimes you can see like a peak of color in the stack. It's the refractor of Jason Chorio. So Nick, we'll continue on here with your run of 10. Keep putting these base cards away so they're nice and safe and sound. Adam says, I bought I bought at the Bowman. I wrote three boxes. I meant three packs. All right. I always uh, look at the pay the like the total sum to make sure it matches up. So thanks for letting me know. I'll check that out. There's Brandon Barriera, Ray Wave. And what else do we got? Some Chrome cards there. There's Ricardo Cabrera, Refractor. And Benny Bombs, Benny Montgomery. So, Nick, you got two packs here, and then I owe you three more. So, we're through half of your stack of ten. Brian Acuna Invicta card and the paper. I always like to show you the paper and not just totally skip it. Some people just go straight to the chromes, but I like to show you what's in there. I like to take out the Elijah Greens and the Jackson Holidays. And nothing in there. So, Nick, let me get the next box and rip it open for you. You have three coming out of this one. Somebody said they sent a payment for three boxes, but they meant three packs. Did I already get that one? Because I just checked. I didn't see any new payments coming over. So that must have been an older um, payment, I would imagine, from earlier in the day. Because I'm still at James Thomas as the last payment. I just want to make sure that I don't miss anybody. Because currently we have just about ten more packs to open up, and then we'll be done. So here we go for Nick. What do we got? Three more packs here. Hector says, you got my $85 for my mini binder Thursday. Thanks, Hector. I think I did. If I sent it to you, that I, I definitely got it because I don't see any binders in here. I, I sent all the binders that night, so your payment was definitely received. Otherwise, it wouldn't have gotten sent because I just click on the, go to your payment and then I click on send uh, whatever it is or print shipping label. That's how I do them, so... There's Jackson Holiday. Where's Elijah Green? He got separated from his buddy there. Ellie De La Cruz. Bryce Hubert. Ray Wave. Looks like Nick Hirsch just sent over a payment for something. Looks like it says five packs. There's Marco Luciano. That's just a regular speckle, though. The regular speckles aren't numbered, which is very frustrating. Pull one of those. Hope, hope that's numbered and it's not. All right, Nick, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of your run. Cade Horton Ray Wave is the last one. So Nick is out. And moving on to Michael Palumbo here. It spots 44 through 48. We'll see what we can do for you. Michael Palumbo. Packs. One, two, three, four, five. Here they go. The top card's a 41. I can't believe it. It's still hanging on. High number. Top card up there. We'll see. Nicholas is taking five packs in this round. We'll get you added in. 
Elijah Green is here. There he is. Get that one sleeved up. Yendry Rojas. This P. Chris is tempted to buy in. I, I don't blame you. It's a very beatable number. And it's still beatable because this one is a 72 out of 150 on the Justin Boyd. So nice Justin Boyd there, Mike, but not going to get it done. Sedane Rafaela is not numbered. It's a chrome sky blue. We're about due for an autograph, by the way. I don't think we've pulled one yet. Definitely haven't pulled one yet in the light boxes from tonight. Let's check out the other two packs here, Michael. James Wood is there. It's a regular refractor. There's Elijah Green, who got separated from Jackson Holiday in one of the previous packs. Dom Keegan, thank you. Uh, Fitzy says, thanks for the for entertaining us daily. You are welcome. Here's a Drew Thorpe. Let's flip these over. Unfortunately, Michael, you are out. Here's 49 and 50 for James Thomas, and I'm going to owe you three in the next one. Let me go ahead and, in the meantime, also get Nicholas Hirsch penciled in because he's in that next box. So Nicholas Hirsch will have 54 through 58 with five packs. Kristen Vaccaro right there. We're doing that. We'll do the Series 2 Jumbos next from Tops. Then we'll do the Pro Debut Jumbos after that, and then we'll end the night with the Retail, which is the Retail of 2021 update. Numbered card alert. Numbered card alert. I saw a numbered card, and there it is. Ezekiel Tovar for James. It is a green out of 99. You actually have like a 40% chance of taking this, and you are taking it. It is a 32 out of 99, beats the 41. So James Thomas, maybe some beginner's luck right there. I think that might be, is that your first time buying in? First night, he's on the top of the leaderboard. Still 32 is beatable, but there's not too many more folks that are going to be coming at you here, James. Right now, it's only one more person. So let me go ahead and get the next box opened up. And uh, we'll see what we can find from Mr. Nicholas Hirsch, who's got packs 54 to 58. Nicholas Hirsch. Hold Fast has a giveaway going on. That's a pretty nice giveaway of the J-Rod. Thanks for being a channel member, man. All right, so James, you have three more packs. If you get passed up here, we'll open those packs. So I'll take those and set those aside for you. We call those lifeline packs. We don't have to open them. We just send you some sealed packs. Still haven't found an autograph yet from any of these Bowman Draft light boxes tonight. Watch the one autograph being James... Lifeline packs. Let's shuffle these around a little bit. It's three for James. All right, Nicholas, you got five. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. There's your five packs. Let's see what we can do for you. You're trying to beat a 32. We're just minutes away from getting into the 2022 Top Series 2 Jumbos. All right, so here's the first three of those packs. You're hoping to find a green or something like that. Or really any numbered card would do. Give you a shot at least. Nothing yet. Thanks, Hold Fast. I really appreciate that. Got a chrome coming up of Elijah Green, which is a nice one. Definitely get that one sleeved up. And the Ray Wave at the back end is going to be Chase. Midroth first. Let's check out your other two packs. And by the way, this could be it. Let me hit the refresh button. I don't think there's anyone else after Nicholas here. All right. Oh, there's a purple in here. Nicholas has a chance. Look at that. A purple coming up right there. We'll put that right there just to have some last pack or last card magic or at least some drama so james you gotta hang on to your seat there's a sky blue that's not numbered 
You will have a challenge here at the end of this round. Anthony Volpe right there, Ray Wave. Not number, but a nice card. Definitely get that one sleeved up. The purple could upset it here at the very end. This is the last spot. Nobody else has grabbed Bowman Draft, so here we go. Jose Ramos, and here it is. Nicholas Hirsch, you have a purple of Brian Acuna. Very nice card. It is numbered out of 250. You need that first number to be a zero if you're going to have any chance. So let's go ahead and zoom in right on the card. Here we go. The first number is going to be a... It is a zero. Uh-oh. There it is. You see it? It is a zero. You need the second number to be a one, two, or three, and then you're taking the case. If it's four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're not, unless it's a 40. Let's see what that second number is. Oh, he did it. He did it. Last pack magic. It's a 16 out of 250. And just like that, Nicholas Hirsch has walked it off here with a 16 out of 250 on the Brian Acuna. However, we're not quite done yet. James Thomas did have those three lifeline packs. So it's almost like, um, you know, it's the top of the ninth inning and your closer just gave up the lead there, James. And now you've got one last chance to get it back. Let's see what you have in your three lifeline packs here to wrap this one up. Good luck, man. Here we go. One, two, and three. And Tara says, this is why I like watching these live. Here we go. James Thomas with his three lifeline packs. So he says, James, you might need to grab some more packs. Well, he's got these three. No guarantee of a numbered card in here, though. Ellie De La Cruz Refractor is a nice one. We've got Jay Allen. That is a Ray Wave. I don't see any colored cards coming down the pike yet. Sometimes they'll kind of sneak out, but I don't have a feeling there might be a... I, feel, I don't know. We'll see. It could be a numbered card that's upside down in the Chrome stack. This is your last chance right here. This is the last Chrome stack. I don't think you have a numbered card because I would have seen the numbers on the back. And indeed, that is going to do it for Bowman Draft Light. Nicholas Hirsch, who grabs a few packs there at the end and takes it over with the Brian Acuna. Congratulations, man. You walked it off there in the ninth. And now we are moving ahead to the Series 2 Jumbo Case. Got your name on that, Nicholas. Put it right there. And with Series 2, we'll be looking for the JR. And here's a couple extra packs. I'll put those in my extra pack stack. All right, where's my Series 2 case? We've got Series 2 Pro Debut Jumbos coming up. And also we have a retail case of hanger boxes from 2021. Currently, if you're thinking about getting into the Series 2 round, there are 36 spots sold. So it is... Over half sold. So I'm definitely going to need at least four of these boxes. Let me get them all put on the table here so they're ready to go. We'll put box five and six over here in case we need them. All right, good luck. Starting things off is carry. Spot number one. We'll do the silver packs at the end. Whoever ends up taking the round. Garrett Cole was the box topper. Mick says, nice to see Series 2 again. It seems like it's been a while. I think this is the last case I had, maybe. I keep finding cases. Like, I need to do a better job of when I put cases on the shelf, I need to put them all in the same spot instead of some up here, some downstairs. So Kiri has one pack. We get right to the middle. That's where the only chance of finding numbered cards is right smack dab in the middle of the Series 2s. we got a Paul Goldschmidt. It is a short print right there, so we will sleeve that one, but it's not numbered, as you can see. And the first pack, unfortunately, has nothing numbered in it for Kerry. So Kerry is out. Next up, it's Robert Conroy with pack number two. See what we can find here. Is there a reason Jabs doesn't open update much? I feel like I haven't seen it in a shutdown in a while. It's because it's so expensive. 
if you remember, if you go back to the Saturday Showdown, if you watched like the first two months after Update was out, I did it every single week. Tyler Magill right there. It is not numbered. And nothing else going on in this one. I get my cases from a case guy out in uh, L.A. He's got a card shop, and the distributor he works with does not have any more Tops Update. They sold out of them. Jason Sawyer has a grand total of four packs. Let's see what we can find for Jason Sawyer. This pack doesn't have anything in it. Numbered wise, all it takes is a gold card. I saw somebody who was a newbie said that they think that the the lowest numbered card denominator should be the best one. They said my my way's dumb, but I feel like my way's more entertaining. Because we got a 99 out of 300 here. You could just have a gold card end up taking. It always gives you a shot. So 99 on the Christian Arroyo. LOL Card Break says, thank you for inspiring me to get back into cards. You are welcome. Thank you for the super chat and the support and being here tonight. I really appreciate that. Let's check out what else we have for Jason Sawyer. I don't think the 99 is going to hold. So we'll open the rest of your packs to see if we can get you a better position. Nothing in this one and here's your sixth and final pack there's a silver foil card we've got a numbered card here brandon belt it's gold 12 34 1 2 3 4 not going to beat your 99 though the mix has the link if you'd like to check out the lol card channel Ross says, when you run out of cases for products, you just use other products. Yeah, like there's always there's always cases coming in. Like, for example, if there's a new release that comes out, I will usually grab like five or six cases of it and then uh, maybe break a couple boxes, do, do a couple here and there, and just kind of slow roll, roll it out in the team breaks and the uh, Saturday showdowns. If I had to get five or six cases, that'll usually last a few weeks. It's like you'll see Crapstone back again. And Team Break Tuesday. Swain is up next. Spot number seven and eight. Got the Franimal right there. Mookie Betts, it's a manufactured patch. It's not numbered. There's no different color in the background of it. Swain pack number eight. He's got something. Oh, man, it's a gold card. It's Abraham Toro. It's a 1998 out of 2022. All right, so Swaim is out. Casey's up next at spot number nine. Luis Diaz on the back. He's bounced around a bit. I think he was even on the Pirates for a, a week or two before we signed Carlos Santana. Then they designated him for assignment. Jam, how's it going? Good to see you in here. Thank you very much. Nothing else going on in this one for Casey. Here's pack number 10. Finishing off the first box. And I accidentally threw Jason's name to the side. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Coming up, it's the J-Rod short print. Very, very nice. J-Rod short print. There we go. Man. What an awesome card this one is. This is, uh, it was always a $350 card or so when I was breaking these cases every week back in the summer. Not sure what this goes for now. I would imagine it's probably still around $300 per card or, or more. I don't know, probably around $300. But the J-Rod short print, we got to one-touch this one. There's a nice $300 card up for grabs now. Unfortunately, it's not numbered, so... That one's going to go to Jason Sawyer as of right now, but let's drop that one in a one-touch. And big pool of the night. That is the big pool of the night. Very, very nice one right there. Put it on the screen. The J-Rod Rookie Schwarm print. So if you're a big J-Rod collector, that is the card to go after. And I saw a payment pop up already, it looks like. As, but right now, in case you're wondering... There are, I think, 20 spots left in this round. Also, let's finish off your your, um, your box here, or your pack. Vladdy's numbered. Nice uh, game-used relic right there. 
but nothing else. James says, that's a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a little while. Glad to see that one back. Lindsey Clark is up next. I think Landon Wright just grabbed a whole run of packs, so we may be sold out soon. Mark Hutchison grabbed one pack. So Mark Hutchison will grab spot number 37. And Landon Wright, I think, grabbed 11, which will put him at 38 through 48. Which leaves 11 spots left in the entire break. Lindsey Clark's up next. Neil Davis, I think, just grabbed a spot as well. Continue to try to keep up with these payments, but it'll probably sell out soon. Mark Catano just grabbed two packs. I think that leaves maybe eight or nine spots left. Lindsey Clark, let's see what we got for you here. In yours, I think Chris Fuertes just sent in for a pack. I think that leaves seven spots left or so. Got to try to keep it updated. All right, Mark, just um, just note what the credit is from in there, and you got it. Lindsey Clark, 905 on the Jonathan Diaz gold card. Not going to beat that 99. Nothing else in this one. Here's Lindsey's next pack. This be Chris. Grab the spot. Kyle Tucker, nice autograph right here. Kyle Tucker. It is numbered 119, though, out of 990, uh, 299. So 119 not going to get the job done. So Lindsay is out. Thank you, Lindsay. Let me get uh, caught up to date on these real quick. So uh, Mark Hutchison, then landed right 11. Neil Davis took that spot. So Neil was at... Spot number 49, Mark Cataldo with two at 1551, Chris Fuertes at 53, Mark Barrett at 53 and 54. So there's, I think, six spots left. Joe Denner's coming up next. Mark says it's three. All right. So, yeah, just remind me what that credit was for. Did I win the Mega Millions? I did buy some tickets for the Mega Millions. I won $6. I hit the uh, Mega Ball twice. And a, another number, so I think it's two dollars when you hit the mega ball, and we do it if the number. It's four bucks. Guess I didn't come away completely empty. I think Casey just sent over for two. Ezekiel's up next at fourteen and fifteen. So we can find for Ezekiel. Here's fourteen. And unfortunately, no numbered cards in there. And here's number fifteen. Oh, looks like Shane Bassett just sent over a bunch. We're sold out. Shane, I don't even think uh, I don't think I have enough for you. 370 on the Dylan Cease. 370. Nothing else in here. For Ezekiel. So this round is going to be sold out. Just so you know, we don't have any more spots left. Don't want to have to go through the uh, process of having to refund a bunch of people. So just you're in the middle of sending a payment right now to grab a spot. Sorry, but we don't have any more left to sell in this case. Triple Play Tim says, Jabs, thanks for all you do. Series 2 was my lucky release this year. I pulled a hankier on one of one cut autograph. Once in a lifetime pull. That's amazing. Series 2 has been a pretty good release this year. I've been... I was, Always enjoyed opening it during the Saturday showdowns. And I've always had some pretty decent luck as well. Shane says, did I get any? Um, I think you got maybe three or four. Let me check. And then the rest, I can put you in another round tonight if you want to grab some others. Joe Denner just sent over for something as well. But we're sold out. Folks, we're sold out. Please stop sending payments. Jay won the lottery in home state. Um... 2.5 million a buck a year for, oh man, <laughs> what did that be something? 2.5 million a buck a year for two and a half million years. Too bad you can't take the lump sum on that. Let me see what we got here. So Chris Fuertes had 
won, and then Mark Barrett said he was cashing his credit for three, and then William Gentry had two. Um, Casey Vaughn had two. Shane, you got one. You got pack number 60. So Shane Bastable. Spot number 60. So I can refund the the uh, the difference there, or you can use that and put you in. I can put you in the pro debuts. Jumbo pack's coming up. Let me know what you want to do there, Shane. Here's Nathan. Coming up next. Oh, man. Look at this. Nathan O just hit the death card. One out of 99. That's what you don't like to see. One of 99 for Nathan. All right, Nathan. That's pretty good. You're taking over, and you have probably about a 99-cent chance of taking the case now. Nathan O, congratulations, one out of 99. So it'll take a one out of 50. Chances I'll take a spin in with pro debut. Sure, man. Hey, it worked out for you that all those spots didn't go in this round. Let me know how many uh, spots that works out to in pro debut, just if you could figure out the math for me so I can continue on here. And I will just put you in for that many. Got a good shot. It looks like Douglas just sent over as well. Um, folks, we're all sold out of Series 2. Here we go for Phil. Phil, it's spot number 19. Nothing in this one. And spot number 20. This one's for Michael Pilgrim. Yeah, Brady, we, we pulled the J-Rod short print. We've got a Mark Colasvari, 184 on the icy red. John Smoltz, game use relic. It's not numbered, as the relics are always numbered on the front. And nothing else going on in this one for Michael. Moving on to the next pack. I see that Joe Denner and Douglas Collectibles, you both sent in payments. I'm just going to refund those. If you'd like to send over again for the Pro Debut Jumbos, if you want to grab a spot in those, that's fine. But I don't, don't want to be holding your money here. Because I really dislike doing credits unless they're taken the same night. Because then I just totally forget and don't even remember what it's for. So, Joe Denner, yours is back. We've got Pete Alonzo right there. All right, Shane, sounds good. I'll put you in there for four packs. Pro debut, that's like two-thirds of a box. So Shane Bastable and pro debut. You'll be at spot 13, 14, 15, and 16 in pro debut. All right, so let's move on. Lamar Thomas with three. What's still left for tonight? We have pro debut and retail boxes of 2021 update. That's all we've got left for tonight. Everything else is all sold out. Gold card there. It's a 1696 on the gold. Nothing else going on in that first pack for Lamar. PayPal is very, very slow. I'll give you that. We've got a DJ LeMayhew right there. DJ LeMayhew. It is a 23 out of 50. Nice card, but you would have needed that one to be a 1. DJ LeMayhew auto. And pack number 23 here. We've got a Chris Owings. There's another numbered card. It's Drew Rasmus, and it's a 527. On the gold, nothing else going on here. So Lamar is out. Coming up next, it's Steven, Steven Sostak. It's spot number 24 and 25. Sketch cards, those aren't numbered. They are, I mean, they they should be considered one of one. I don't know why they don't number them one of ones, but the sketch cards aren't numbered. Those are really long odds. Nothing in that one. Here's Steven's next pack, pack number 
We've got a numbered card here, Tanner Houck. It is a 165 out of 499 on the icy green. Nothing else in there for Steven. Coming up next, Zachary Thurlby, a.k.a. Turtle B. We've got 26 through 27. Let's see what we can do for you here. National Treasures are coming out the 11th, I think. 11th or 12th. I ordered one case. They're pretty expensive. They're almost $600 a box. But uh, there's usually some pretty good stuff in there. Nothing in that first pack. Check out your next pack here. Yep, National Treasures Panini comes out the 11th. I don't know if I'll have my case by then, but I already ordered it, so. I just, I did one case, because I got st stuck with a bunch of extra immaculate. So, I think I did three immaculate cases, and I think I maybe sold one of them, and then I <laughs> was selling them off at losses and some auctions in there. Here we, maybe I'll bring back immaculate for the uh, Team Break Tuesday, I'll toss that in the mix. John Miller at pack number 28. Um, not yet, Nick. I usually don't order cases until Monday of the release day. So if it comes out on Wednesday, I order it on Monday. I don't, um, my guy doesn't do the pre-orders, unfortunately. He just tells me, here's what's coming out this week, and here's what it is. 26 of 50. But yeah, I, I would hope that I can get some gold label. Every other year. I've been getting this, these cases from the same guy since like 28, 2018 or 2019, so... I've gotten Gold Label all the other years. I hope I can get it this year as well. Aaron's coming up next at 29 through 31. So I'm going to owe you one pack in the next box. Nothing else going on here. Relic coming up after the Alec Bohm, which is a 1945. Do you know anything about the Bowman Transcendent VIP party? Nope, I've never been to one of those parties, but I think that would be pretty cool. If you buy a Bowman Transcendent case, you get to go to a VIP party and hang out with all the future prospects of MLB should be there, at least some of them. So maybe rub elbows with Jackson, I just want to say, or Jackson Holiday and Elijah Green. Here we go with this next one. Brady, we're doing 2011 update this Throwback Thursday. It never sold out, so I'll do a, do another reminder and then a last call on it. Mick says, we need to get Eric on Allen and Ginter first, then come to parties. That would be pretty cool. All right, here we go at spot number 31. Aaron Sanders going to start things off numbered card is here it's a 505 on the gold with Bichette and Vladdy in their embrace and Aaron is out at spot number 32 and 33 it's going to be for Nathan before I rip these open I'm going to update the payment list here There's a bunch of payments came in right after that J-Rod was hit so let me go ahead and fill out some of these real quick so we can keep this rolling right along at 34 was Raul Vasquez with one. At 35 through 36 was William Gentry with two. At 37 was Mark Hutchison with one. And then at 38 through 48 with 11 was Landon Wright. 49, we have Neil Davis. Spot number 50 and 51, we have Mark Cataldo with two. Spot number 52, that one's going to Chris Fuertes. Spot 53 through 55, it's for Mark Barrett with three packs at 56 and 57 is for William Gentry. 
almost all caught up here. We've got Pro Debut Jumbos next, by the way, after this. Probably another 10 minutes of Series 2 or 10 to 15 minutes. Casey Vaughn with two and Shane Bastable as the last one. All right, back to ripping. Kind of a foregone conclusion that Nathan O is going to take this one, so we could be in... It could be due for an upset here if someone knocks him off with a printing plate. It has happened before. There's the next autograph. It's Andre Jackson. It is not numbered. Nothing else going on in here. Nathan's next pack up. Lewis Brinson foil. There's a Jose Altuve blue, not numbered. James says, wouldn't it be amazing for a printing plate walk-off? It would. That would be pretty awesome. Nathan, unfortunately, you're out. Raul Vasquez up next at spot number 34. Nothing in that run. Raul, spot number 35. This one is for William Gentry, Mr. Marlin. What are happened to Marlins, man? I haven't heard that name for a while. Marlins, man. Hey, look at this. Spencer Turnbull, 13 out of 299. Not going to beat the one, though. Nothing else going on there. Here's pack 36. Has there been a case hit yet, as in a home field advantage? Haven't seen one yet in this case. But, man, that J-Rod is the hit of the case. Nothing numbered in this one either for William. So, William, thank you very much. Here's spot 37. Mark Hutchison. Take up the uh, task of looking for a printing plate. A numbered card here in the Tony Gwynn. It is a an 81 out of 299. That'll do it for Mark. Spot 38 through 48 on a nice run here. Landon Wright has 11. Ross says, you should be on one of the Allen Ginter weirdo cards next year. You should email Thompson. I wonder what they'd say. Um, I feel like I'd want them to reach out to me if they wanted me on there. <coughs> I don't want to be like, hey, can you please put me on a card? That would be, that'd be weird. But if they, if they wanted to do that, I would be all about that. I would even go to New York City and go to their headquarters and sign autographs if they wanted to. Not like anybody would. Probably the average collector would probably be like, who's this Jabs family guy? And why is his autograph in here? I don't want that. Here's this next one. But I'll tell you what, if they did, we'd be breaking Allen and Ginter every week around here. Luis Patino, 194 out of 499. There's also Pedro, which is numbered. It's a 125 of 199 as well. And that will do it for that box. Landon has most of the next box also. Two more boxes to rip open. Then we also have all the silver packs to go through. Probably will find another autograph in there, I would hope. Series 2 silver packs are usually pretty good. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. on the top. Silver packs. Gomez says, I'd much rather have a Jabs on it than a Blake Grice. Yeah, those weirdo cards, uh, like, uh, they are worth some money. I don't know. I don't know why, but a lot of those people I've never heard of and their autos are actually pretty good. White Sox Tom says, if Zach Campbell got a Topps card, Jab should have a card. Hample got one in 20... What year was that? 2017 Archives. I think that may have been... Was that before the... I think that may have even been before the A-Rod ball, wasn't it? I'm trying to think when he got the A-Rod ball. The A-Rod 3000th hit. 2017. Here we go with Landon Wright continuing his run. Andrew McCutcheon. It is a short print. Nothing in there. Next pack up. A Jabs Auto is almost as good as an Auto Auto. Glenn Auto Auto. Auto Lopez Autos. 
We've got a Kyle Hendricks, man, 8 out of 199. That would be good enough if not for that one. Most times that would be good enough to win the box war there. But not tonight with a 1 out of 99 Jamer Condelario in the top spot. All righty, here we have Reese Hoskins, 79 of 499. Nothing else going on here. There's your case hit. It is the Joey Votto home field advantage card. They aren't numbered, though, but still pretty cool. Nothing else going on in this one for Landon. Not another TJ Friedel autograph. You just jinxed it. In the final box, it's probably going to be a TJ Friedel autograph. You just wait and see. Sweet spot of Andrew McCutcheon. It is going to be a blue, not numbered. Cool card. Nothing else in there for Landon. Here's his next pack. Pack number 46 of this break. Home field or home run challenge card there of Ronald Acuna Jr. now expired. On to pack number 47. Moraz said he'd rather have no auto than a TJ Friedel autograph. Man, poor TJ Friedel. There is a 6 out of 75, Cal Ripken Jr. Again, that would be the, the new number one, if not for the one out of 99. Here's pack number 48, last one for Landon in his run. Got a silver foil of the Mets team card, and we've got Nico Goodrum, advanced stats. It's a 120 out of 300. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. So Landon, unfortunately, is out. Up against that tough one, Neil Davis now going to take up the task of trying to find a printing plate. Or if one out of 25, camo one out of 25 will do the job also. But those are really tough to pull. The camos, I feel like I find those maybe one every three or four cases when I do these large-scale case breaks. Uh, Jay Ratliff got a wit candy cane short print. Red Randy Rose Rain out of 99. Cattel Marte Santa Hat Relic in the same box. Nice box right there. I haven't seen Topps Holiday at my Walmart in some time. And wow, we've got a chance. Oh, man. Mark Cataldo has a chance. He has a red, which will be out of 25. Oh, man. Here we go. There's a Roberto Perez. The Roberto Perez is a 1624. You have a Christian Yelich. Red Jumbo Relic. It is numbered out of 25, so you could take it here, Mark. If the first number here is a zero, you've got a chance, and it is a zero. Mark, you've got a shot. If it's a one, you're taking it away from him. A one out of 25 will beat a one out of 99. Does he have it? Does he have it? I see maybe a little speck that could be the little... Beginning of a one. Does he have it here? This is why we watch till the end of these. It's either a seven or a one, says JM. So, Mark, you got a 50-50 chance right here. Does he have the one? Oh, man, it's a seven. It is a seven out of 25. Sorry, Mark. That's about as close as it can get to unseating Nathan. Almost did it right there. A little drama for you. Mark Cotato has the first pack out of the next pack also. So Christian Yelich almost spoiled everything for you, Nathan. Nathan continues to hold on. He only has one more pack to get through, one more box to get through. A little bit of drama right there. I saw that big, thick relic card right there. And here's the last box of this case. Get some of these wrappers out of here. Good luck, Mark. Mark says, I need that J-Rod. You almost had it. And Mick says, next time remind me to take my hypertension meds. Sorry about that, Mix. Didn't mean to scare you. James says, Christian Yelich has been a spoiler for me this year. He almost was a spoiler again right there. All right, Mark, here you go. Pack number 51. This is the last box 
of this case, and then we'll get into the pro debut jumbos next. There's Jordan Romano, 1370 on that gold card. So unfortunately, Mark, you are out. Next up, it's Chris Fuentes, or Fuertes, at spot number 52. You have a Eli Morgan, who's pretty common, pretty common auto, see that one a lot. No TJ Friedel in this case, surprisingly. That's rare. Nothing else numbered there. Mark Barrett coming up with three. This be Chris says, if you pulled me a printing plate, I would have been appreciative. Sorry about that, man. Those are those were tough to whip up. Alex Wood is a 63 out of 71 on the black border card. Nothing else in that first pack for Mark. Here's your next one. I still do have Alan and Ginter cases for a team break. I, maybe I'll toss them into the... I'm probably just going to do a mix this week. The, the super mixes always always sell out super fast. And then the uh, the ones that are dedicated to a specific brand usually sell slower. So maybe I'll toss in the uh, Alan and Ginter into the random team breaks this coming week. Jonathan Indy is a short print. Not numbered, though. And Mark is out. The Super Mixer is a nice name. Yeah, I figured it was pretty nice. 56 to 57 for William Gentry. Nothing else going on in this one. And here's pack 57. Only four more packs to get through there, Nathan. And we'll check out all your silver packs. And here is the manufactured. It's a Freddie Freeman, not numbered. And now we're down to the last three here. Jam loves the Allen Ginter rip cards. They are nice. Unfortunately, like 90% of the time, they do not hit. Casey Vaughn at 58. Casey Mize, wow. That would be the number one card. It's a four out of 299 on the icy so if not for the one you would be the new top dog casey it's just the way it goes looks like joe denner is going to go after a spot in pro debut thanks joe steven piscotti not the number in this one and casey's out so our last one here is shane bastable We've got the final pack you have to find a one of one Here it is. You have a numbered card. It's pretty good. Eight out of 222, 2022. So that would have been cool in another case if that would have walked it off for you. Alex Bregman, game used relic, but not numbered. So Shane is out, and Nathan, as expected, you have taken it. Congratulations. Let's check out all of your silver packs and see what you have in there. I expect you to potentially have another autograph. I'm going to say there's going to be one more autograph coming your way from those packs. Get all these cards put in the box here and we'll rip open those silver packs and see what's going on with those. Get all these box toppers put in here. Pro Debut is coming up next in just a minute. Mix is going to guess two autos. I'm saying one. So here we go. Two autos would be a nice haul. JM says zero, Nick says zero, LOL says zero. James is with me and says one auto. Tin says three autos. That would be probably a record. I don't know if you ever pulled three autos from just one case worth of silver packs before. That would be crazy good. Nathan would take it, though. Mark Barrett's calling two. He's with the mix. Booger's calling one. All right, here we go. I'm calling one also. So let's see. We have a nice John Carlos Stanton red, number out of just five. That's a good one right there. Good way to start things off in this run of silver packs. Got an orange coming up out of 25. There it is. There's the first one. So everyone that said zero is wrong. Seth Beer, orange out of 25. Very nice. 
16 and 25. So there's your first auto. We'll see if you get another one. Oh, wow. Shohei Otani. The second autograph from the Cases Silver Packs. It is an on-card Shohei Otani. How about that one? This one is numbered out of just 15. Three of 15. Shohei Otani. Let's break out the one touch for this card right there. Another Shohei Otani autograph hit. Time to edit this down into short. If you see a little red subscribe button down there, make sure you hit it because we post videos every single day and a lot of days too in a day. This is our second video of the day. We break baseball cards all the time, all day long around here. Shohei Otani autograph card for Nathan O. Nathan, congratulations on that big hit right there. Another showtime in the books. Shohei Otani, let me get that one touch. Well, you're right. The mix and everyone else had said two. Congratulations. How about that one? We had a J-Rod in that case. And now a Shohei Otani autograph to boot. And since it's a chrome finished card, we are going to drop a little sleeve over it as well to keep that surface safe and sound. Man, very... Wow, we could have three autos. You're right. There's still a big stack here. We could have three autos here. It's not over yet. There's a Wander Franco, which we'll sleeve that one up, I suppose. Wow. So that's the first Shoei Otani from a silver pack I've pulled. What a great case this ended up being. It was two autos. The mix, give yourself a pat on the back. Everyone else that said it'll be two autos, give yourselves pats on the back as well. Shohei Otani and also J-Rod from the same case. All thanks to Jamer Candelario and Nathan. Congratulations on that. What a case that was. Huge case right there. All right, so we're not done yet. We still have pro debut jumbos to do. We also have retail. Some retail product. It's going to be hanger boxes. That's the last one. So let's bring in the pro debuts right now. With Henry Davis on the front. There's what is it? Three autographs per box in these bad boys. So one in every pack, one in every two packs has an autograph. So your your autograph odds are really good in these. Let me go ahead and fill the rest of these out because when I started, I only had seven spots sold in this round, and it's since more than doubled. Um, so eight through twelve is for Justin Collins. With five packs, almost a full box there. And Shane Bastable has 13 to 16 with four. So if you'd like to grab some spots, you can do so right now. And let's go ahead and get into it. Time for some pro debut. Maybe we'll have another short, big one of one or something like that from here would be nice. All right, here we go. Robert Conroy is going to start things off here. Good luck, Robert. Let's see what we can find in pack number one. I guess I don't know if the the uh, numbered cards are always in the same spot or not. So let me mix these around a little bit before I start ripping into them. All right, Robert Conroy. Of the base cards, you have something coming up here, Robert. It is going to be, Nolan Gorman is going to be in, wow, 99 of 99. That kind of stinks. Henry Davis isn't numbered. But this is going to be a nice Johendrick Pinanga, which will knock off that out of 99, 12 out of 25. So 12 of 25 to start things off. Not too shabby. Robert, you're in the lead. Giovanni's up next with two. Let's see what we can find for you here. In your two packs. Looking for something numbered. And another numbered card. Freddy Valdez. It is a 9 of 10. So the number just keeps chopping on down. So Giovanni takes over with a 9 of 10. We might see that number whittled down even farther here. Here's all the chromes. And another autograph. Darn Darrell Hernai is not numbered. Base auto. Two autos in the books. So Giovanni's on top. Phil's up next. 
So coming up at spot number four, got a numbered card in here. It's lots of numbered cards in this. Almost one in every pack. It is a 35 out of 75. But most cards have some have three numbered cards in there. Look at that. Samad Taylor, it's an 87 out of 150. And your third numbered card, it is an 8 out of 25. So just like that, the numbers chop down either even farther. Again, Phil takes over as we just continue to move toward the lowest possible number eight is now the lead card and Mr. Jack Holland is coming up next at spots five, six, and seven. What do we have here for Jack? J JT Schwartz is the autograph. It's not numbered. Jack has a numbered card. Luis Gonzalez. Lots of numbered cards in this. It is a 44 out of 75. I think every pack has had a numbered card so far. Every now and then you get a pack without a numbered card, so I don't want to say every pack will have a numbered card in it. But here's pack number six for Jack, then I'm going to owe you one more. The Marte is not numbered, neither is the Colson Montgomery. And there is one of those rare packs without any numbered cards in it. So Jack, I owe you another one. Phil's leader with an eight right now. Go ahead and get the next box on the screen. Spot number seven. Hey Dave, you missed a big Shohei Otani autograph. And here's your numbered card. You got Ezekiel Tovar autograph. It's not numbered. And Nick Gonzalez. This one is a 53 out of 75. So, unfortunately, Jack, you are out. Justin Collins coming up next. I'm trying to update my PayPal, or at least check it out. It's taking literally forever. I'm going to have to log back in here. It logged me out. I clicked on recent activity to check it, what was going on. It just was just not doing anything. Get logged back in here. Justin Collins, you got all five of these. So, we'll see what we can find for Justin here. He's got all five. He's got five packs. Eight is the top number right now that you have to try to take out here, Justin. Let's see if you can do it. With all the numbered cards, it is doable. This first pack, you've got a Blaze Jordan. Look at that. Blaze Jordan Gold Auto. It is numbered to 50, and just like that, you take over again. It is a four out of 50. Justin Collins now takes over. So, Justin, congratulations. You're the top dog. And you've got some lifeline packs left over as well. So in your first of five packs, you're now number one. Shane's coming up with the next box. Let's we'll see what we can find for Shane here. And I'll get these payments updated here in a second after Shane. Looks like Joe Denner grabbed a spot in pro debut as well. So let's get Joe Denner added in at 17. Four is the new lead card. 17, Joe Denner. All right, here we go. Next box. Shane says, I'll take the entire box. Joe Denner already grabbed 17, so I can't do that now. But if you want to grab additional spots, you can. We'll just continue to open boxes. I have a whole case of these. All right, here we go. Shane. There's, uh, there's four packs there. Let's see what we can find in your four. Bo Jackson, and we've got Alex Pinellas autograph. It's not numbered. Carson Williams we will be numbered. It's a 44 of 75. And that first one, all you got to do is find a 1, 2, or 3 to beat Justin, who has a nice place, Jordan Auto as well. Yeah, we only have hanger boxes left of update and also pro debuts, which we're ripping right now. These are the last two rounds. Xavier Edwards up next. It is a 65 out of 99 on the green. And this, Jason Dominguez Refractor, will be numbered. It is out of 99. Nine, another 99 of 99. That's our second 99 of 99 Refractor. Had the Nolan Gorman from, like, the first pack. Next up, 
Jackie Robinson right there. James Wood Gold. This one is numbered. Wow, two of 50. He did it. Shane Bastable was just taken out. Justin Collins with a two of 50. James Wood again, man. Big pull right there. Congratulations, man. Pro debut, pretty fun with all these numbered cards. Just lots and lots of lead changes. Shane, you got an extra lifeline pack there as well. Justin had four lifeline packs. Let's go through them and see if he can get it back from you. Just lead change after lead change after lead change. Here's Justin's lifeline packs. He's got a numbered card with the Alex Ramirez. It is a 78 of 150 in his first pack. Next pack up from the lifeline. Ross says this is unbelievable. Yeah, Pro Debut's been fun with all these numbered cards. Uh, nothing. In the, oh, never mind. There's Jackson Merrill autograph. It's not numbered. And the Jairo Palmares will be numbered to 99. It's a 51 of 99 in that one. To the now the top lead card. Got an Anthony Volpe right there and Khalil Watson. Neither are numbered. Green coming up. It's a green. It's Sal Frelick out of 99. It's a 92 of 99. And now it's down to your last pack here, Justin. We'll see what we can find here in this last pack. Joe Denner's in the on-deck circle at spot number 17. Trying to play the spoiler. We've got, oh, we've got out of 25. Malcolm Nunez. Malcolm Nunez, 7 out of 25 on that one. Beautiful card. Definitely some nice cards in pro debut. So Justin is out. And Joe Denner is coming up next. We'll see if Joe Denner can take his second round of the night. Let me get some of these wrappers out of the way. It's all piling up, getting in my way. Here we go, Joe. Spot number 17. See, Justin Hollins is going, or Justin Collins is coming back after it. He's not going to let it go that easily there, Shane. He's taking three more. Justin Collins at 18, 19, and 20. So if you want to grab a spot in this, you only have a couple more minutes to do so. Is I only have 20 spots sold, so that's only like, what, four more packs to open up. And then we'll be moving on to the hanger boxes. So if you want to grab a spot, do so now. If you want to try to knock off Shane's and James Wood, see what Joe can do. He's got it. Does he got a number card here? He does not. Oh, he's got a Ryan Bliss autograph, but no numbered cards. So here we go. Shane versus Justin one more time. Here's pack number 18. Got a blue. It's Alexander Ramirez. It is a 101 of 150. Do you have anything else? You've got Connor Norby autograph, not numbered. And the Rosemar, Rosemar Quintana is going to be numbered 99. It is another 99 of three. What are the chances of that? Three 99 of 99s in this break. Weird. What's with that? So many... Of the same exact numbered card. That's very different. Another one. All right, let me grab the next box. And we'll see what we can find. Justin has two packs left. <coughs> Trying to take out Shane. The rest of these pro debut packs, I'll just save for a rainy day or maybe auction them off tomorrow. Who knows? All right, so the first pack. Has the autograph, Kevin Madej, not going to be numbered. Second pack, this is the last one currently of this round. Here we go, last one. And you've got an orange, so you have a chance. Oranges are out of 25, typically. Raquelvin DeCastro is the next hit. Not numbered. Joe Mack out of 25. Does he have it? 23 out of 25. So with that, Justin has been eliminated, and it looks like 
Shane Bastable has taken that case with a pack to spare. So, Shane, congratulations on the W. And now we're down to our last one of the evening. Shane Bastable with the win there. It is hanger boxes. They're retail, but I have a case of them, so I figured, why not? Let's just break open some hanger boxes. They are 20, 21 Tops Update hanger boxes. There are 64 boxes in a case. Chances I just sent you an updated address. It sent me one cent. So that's how you... Don't send me a message. I don't see those messages. Um, they're very hard for me to track. It's, it's ridiculous. They send you a little email saying, hey, someone sent you a message. But um, there's like... I don't even know how to find the message center in PayPal. Send me one cent with your new address in there. And I'll just make sure that the email addresses match up. And then I would definitely see it because when I ship your cards, I just type in your, your last name and then I see it says Bastable and then I click ship. So if I see that one cent, that'll come up first. But then I will know. Do not send it. We have these sealed hanger cases. Adam Outlaw says, was hoping to see a legendary cuts again tonight. Would you be willing to quick rip a personal box out of your three plus the last three packs from when the one of one Babe Ruth was pulled i still have those three packs sitting around here somewhere they're right here off to the side of my my uh, pack thing there so adam if you want to take them for the last one of the night i can do a personal box um yeah definitely man let me go ahead and stomp these down we'll probably i think i have a few of those left of the uh legendary cuts i don't know if i have enough left to do another round in the saturday showdown but we can always do them in like random team breaks here and there whenever i get down like two boxes or so i just put those on the shelf so here we go it's time for this right now last one of the evening shane got your one cent with the updated address thank you very much First hanger box is going to Robert Conroy. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, Adam was talking about the sweet cuts or the uh, legendary cut. Let me see where those would be at. These bad boys, legendary cuts from last week. All right, here we go, Robert. There's not a lot of numbered cards, as you know, by now in nothing in this first one in hanger boxes, unfortunately. So nothing in that. It's all base. Joe Denner's got two here. But we'll find some numbered cards here and there. The gold card odds are one in every three boxes. So probably find one by the end of Joe's run here. Also be some ICs. Yeah, 2021 definitely with the worst design. Here we go. Starting things off with a 66 out of 76 on the Aaron Sanchez. 66. Congratulations on that one. The foils aren't numbered. Those 92s are just paper cards, so nothing else in there. So Joe 66. I don't think that's gonna hold. It might, but I'm gonna open your other box. Legendary Cuts, Mark, you'll have to just go back to last week and then um, see what the price was per pack. And I'll give you the pre-sale price, whatever the pre-sale price was. And I think there's, what, 12 packs per box. We have another number card. Wow, just like that, Joe Denner takes the lead from himself and improves himself. 49 on the Garrett Richards. 49, there's a Christian Pache relic. That's pretty rare, finding a relic. It's uh, from a hanger box. Not always the easiest task. So, Joe, you're the top dog right now. Congratulations. Swaim is coming up next. Let's see if you can beat that 46.
Well, you've got an upside down All Star Game card there. They flipped those over. It's a, because it's a retail blue, which the retail blues aren't numbered. Nothing is numbered in there for you, Swain. You got those 92 redo cards in there. And here's pack number five for you. In this hanger box case. All the base cards. Maybe find hey Jerry Kelnick saw potentially on the block. He's been rumored to maybe be coming to the Pirates. 127 on the Archie Bradley as the Pirates are listening to trades for Brian Reynolds. Pirates would want a top flight starter in the trade. So potentially Logan Gilbert and Jared Kelnick, maybe somebody else. That could maybe work. Kelnick is a failed prospect, but still has some years of control and just a couple years away from being a top notch prospect. Maybe it's change of scenery would help him out in Pittsburgh. And I'd like to see uh, somebody like Logan Gilbert or George Kirby come over our way. Adam Outlaw just grabbed a personal break and Mark Barrett as well. Very nice. You guys are just personally, you're, you're personaling these, right? These are, this isn't like a box war between you two, right? Tim Grewell's up next. Spot six and seven. Am I going to do Panini Absolute? I don't even, I don't, didn't I do Absolute already this year? He says, correct, they are going to be personals. So they will not be in the risk of losing anything in a box for 282 on that one. Aaron Judge, nice chrome, 92 chrome. Christian Yellow, it's black gold, it's not numbered. So nothing else in there for Tim. Here's box number seven. Also for Tim, I'm trying to get that 46. New Patreon member, Rylan Waters. Thank you very much for signing up. We've got upside down gold card there at the Archie Bradley, 1422 on that one. And unfortunately, nothing else in here. So just a reprint of the Javi Baez, some papers, the 92 redos. So Tim is out. Spot number eight for Zach C, a.k.a. Douglas Collectibles. And that'll end the first sealed tray. Alrighty, so we have a Hunter Renfro. This is an 1802 on the gold card. Adam Outlaw will be back shortly. All right, man, we'll be back. Or we'll be breaking your stuff here in a little while, not too much longer. Probably, I'd say, maybe 15 minutes or so. Here's spot number nine coming up and 10. Both going to Travis Williams. Time to open a new sealed case of these. And these little mini cases inside of a master case. 64 of these boxes come in one sealed master case. All right, Travis, here we go. Lots of packaging to throw away, though, from these hanger boxes. All right, so from Travis's first pack, we've got a 44 out of 50, Jose Trevino. So, Travis, you've knocked off the 49. 44 out of 50, you're now the top dog. It's a pink Jose Trevino. Cool card, right? nice picture. Congratulations, you are number one in this break. And you have another box. I don't know if the 44 will last, so I'm going to open the second one. Joe Denner, who was... Um, Already on the top and already took home a win tonight. Is eliminated for now. I don't know if he's coming back or not, but here we go. Travis Williams with your next box. Man, it's 
pretty tough cellophane right there. Alright, let's see what we got for Travis. This Yu Chang has like, both of these cards have weird red, like a red glow, like printing issues on them. Blake Snell's a 1574. Jay Ratliff has a Cattell Marte Santa hat relic, which is pretty rare pull from Tom's Holiday. If anyone's interested in here, it sounds like he's selling. So Travis, you're the top dog. Jeremy's still coming up next at spot number 11. Let's see what we can find for Jeremy. There's going to be a Francisco Lindor, and that's going to be a short print. Jonathan India, Vladdy in there, not numbered in. We've got the 92 paper redo cards with all the other paper cards. So Jeremy is out. Kevin's up next at spot number 12. Brian says, I love to smell box boards in the morning. I guess we are in the Sunday morning it's after midnight. It won't be uh, it won't be up super super late tonight. I tried to get this started as soon as I possibly could. Got the bed, got the kids to bed, nice and early tonight. They were a little tired out. They had basketball earlier today, so that helped in getting them right to bed. Sixteen thirty three on the Joe Kelly. The foils not numbered, and nothing else in this one for Kev. Moving on to spot number 13 through 16. The nice run of four of these Christian Stevenson. With four. Sounds like we'll have also some legendary cuts coming up. A couple personals. Adam Outlaw, Mark Baird. All right, Christian Stevenson. That's all right, Adam. I don't have to get up at like 5.30 in the morning tomorrow, luckily. So staying up an extra 10 minutes or whatever won't hurt too bad. There's a Max Scherzer, nothing numbered in this first one. I think tomorrow I'll be getting up at like 8.30. We're going to head off to church. So i got to be up by 8.30. But much more doable than, say, 5.30 on a work week. Check out Christian's next box. There's a numbered card here. It's going to be a icy green three forty six. Mike Miner. Nothing else going on there. Here's your next pack up. These hanger boxes really fill up the trash can quickly. We have the two legendary cuts at the end of this round, by the way. Got a numbered card out of 70. It's going to be Matt Strom. 65 out of 70 on the gray border 70 years of tops parallel. Nothing else going on here. Yeah, it's going to be a busy day tomorrow. So we'll have church in the morning. And then Timmy's got soccer right around lunchtime. And then Robbie's got baseball. We have a 922 Nick Madrigal right there. 922. Nothing else in this one. The silver foil not numbered, by the way. So, Christian, unfortunately, you are out. And we're moving on to the next sealed hanger box case. And William Weeks will have the first two boxes here. So, we can find for William. 
in this next round. These things are so bulky, I can barely even fit them on the screen. All right, William, I'll well, just do one at a time. I don't have enough space right now. Altogether, by the way, if you're wondering how many spots are in the this particular round, there are 34 spots sold. So we're over halfway through these hanger boxes. If you hate hanger boxes because they don't have a lot of hits in them, well, guess what? You don't have too much more to sit through. Don Mattingly, that's a short print. Silver foil's not numbered. Every now and then, though, there might be a huge hit. So you never know when there's going to... Who knows? Maybe we'll have another Shohei Otani autograph coming out soon. William Weeks, box number two. And you've got a numbered card indeed, Nick Gordon. It is a gold 590 on the Nick Gordon rookie gold. Nice key Brian Hayes refractor, not numbered. Mike Trout also won't be numbered either. And there's just some 92 redo papers in there. So William, unfortunately you are out. Coming up next, it's spot number 19 through 20. It's Casey Vaughn. Brian says, you've become an expert with the knife. Thanks. It, uh, it helps that that knife is super, super sharp, so I don't have to really do too much with it. Just, uh, just drag it across there lightly, and it cuts right through 1812 on that gold card. The Austin Dean is not numbered. Uh, there will be the Andrew Vaughn or any of these 92 papers. So that's it for that one. Here's your next box. Did I do two for Casey already? I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think I did. Next box for Casey. So case 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yep, this is right. This is Casey's second box. Mix confirms it. This is getting late. I'm getting a little absent-minded. We've been live for probably almost four hours. I think we started this last year about 8.25-ish, somewhere in there. Nothing in this one for Casey. So Casey is out. Thank you very much, Casey. Next up, Turtle Bee coming back. Zachary Thurlby, spots 21 and 22. Get some of these base cards put away real quick. And now that that's done, we can rip open into your 21 and 22. So I'll just put that box there. So I remember that's yours. since it's only 10 after 9 here. Keep going. That's true. If you're on the West Coast, it's not all that late. For Turtle Bee, we have a, wow, Brent Honeywell Jr. Turtle Bee, 23 out of 2021. So the number keeps getting lower. Beats that 44. So there's a gold card getting the job done. 23 out of 2021. Congrats on that one, man. You're the leader right now. 23, pretty solid. We'll open the other one just in case it gets lower. Travis has been eliminated. Spot number 22. Turtle Beast says, hey, I got a chance. You do indeed. 23. Could be good enough. I'd say you got a 50-50 shot there. Next one up for Turtle Bee. And a Rosario, there's a Christian Yell, it's chrome in there. Garrett Cole, it's just a black gold, it's not numbered. Nothing in there. So Turtle Bee's the top dog, and Seth is coming up at spot 23. Good luck, Seth. Only about, what, 11 more of these boxes to open up before we go into those personals. 
Adam Outlaw and Dave Barrett. Hey, Seth, you have a numbered orange in here coming up. I see that one, and here it is. It's out of 299. It's Jake Lamb. The, it's a 265 out of 299. Adam Fraser All Star Game card. Nothing else numbered in here. So Seth is out, and the last box in this case is going to go to. Looks like it is going to Lauren DeRosa. Another box to put these base cards in. Box 24. So Lauren has a grand total of four of these. Here's your first one. I'll owe you three more. Who's my pick to win the World Series this year? I, I don't know. I have to think about it a little more. Let's see. I like the team the Braves have. I like the team the Mets have. I think that's going to be a great matchup all season long, those two. Um, Dodgers kind of slowed down a little bit. Padres could be a, have a chance. Definitely not the Pirates. Nothing going on here. So I'm from the NL, I like the Mets. I like the Braves. I like the Padres. I like the, the Dodgers, our contender as well. I think those are your top four right now in the National League. I haven't thought too much about this yet. So from the American League, I think the Yankees will be there. Again, they're, you know, they're solid team. They've kept their team pretty much intact. Lost Jameson Tye under the Cubs. But that'd be some of the Cubs surprise everybody and with all those they picked up some free agents this year. They they could be a potential surprise team. I do like the Blue Jays. I don't know if the Blue Jays are gonna be impactful or not, but I would say I like the blue, the uh, Yankees and Blue Jays the most from the East. Apologies to the Rays and Red Sox and Orioles. Central, um, I don't think the World Series champion will come out of the Central. Nothing in this one in the American League. And then the West, uh, man, the Astros were just, they do it every year, so Astros are probably there and the Mariners are going to be right there with them. Lauren's next pack. How about the Mets payroll, though? That's Their payroll's just crazy high. The Orioles could be a 500 team this year. They, they might sneak in. I hope, that, I hope they sneak in as a wild card. I don't think they're going to win the World Series, but I would love to see the Orioles be a wild card. It's spot number 27 for Lauren. And before I rip open this last box for Lauren, I have to fill out just a couple cards here real quickly. Spot number 28 is going to be for Adam Winterborn. And then spot number 29 and 30 is for Sean McElroy with two. And then finishing this one off, 31 to 34, it's for James Harp. All right, so we're ready to go. James Harp has four. Let's rip open Lauren's box and see what we can find. It's the final Saturday showday round Saturday showdown round of the night. Thanks for being here. For those of you that have been here all four hours. Thanks for watching. We got a green for you, Lawrence. You got a shot. There's an icy green. Those are out of 499. Dave thinks the judge will crash. I don't think Judge is going to be productive for the entire length of his contract with that body size. 285 out of 499. Uh, hope he, hopefully he stays healthy. That would be terrible if he's all banged up and injured. Or if he just starts to lose some of that bat speed. The Yankees better hope they don't have a Chris Davis situation on their hand where they sign a big bopper to a big, huge contract and then they just completely lose their ability to make contact. This is going to break down. He's going to have to move to DH sooner than later. Uh, pajamas, we are doing legendary cuts after this round. It's a couple personals. Adam Outlaw and Mark Barrett both wanted to hop in there. Legendary Cuts, these boxes that are 12 packs per box. So we'll go ahead and do these next. 
forget what the uh, I don't even know what the, what these um, what I what these what the price was on these. Let's see what we can find for Adam in this next one. Not Adam, but yeah, it is Adam. Spot twenty eight. All right, here we go. 28, just a couple more of these to do before we get into those last couple. We've got a John Nagalski 190 out of 299 on the Icy Orange. Nothing else in here for Adam. Spot number 29 and 30, both for Sean McElroy. Reminds me of good old Chuck McElroy. Anybody remember the pitcher Chuck McElroy from back in the day? Used to wear the, the glasses. Spot 29. I think me and my brother always used to mispronounce his name. We used to call him Chuck Mc, McElroy or something like that instead of Chuck McElroy. That's a 255. Say so a nice Raphael Devers. Dave says, I want to meet up for a box for this year. If we ever get up to Boston, I haven't been to Boston since 2018. 2017 or 2018. I think it was 2018. Took my daughter up there for a daddy-daughter trip. Went to Fenway Park. Saw the Royals. Stayed there for a series. It was great. So I haven't been there in, so in like five years. And Heather's never been to Boston, so she would definitely be down if I would suggest it. All right, Sean, here we go. It's spots 29 and 30. This is your spot number 30. We've got a silver foil card. It's not numbered. Boba Shed All-Star Games, not numbered. And now we're down to our last four boxes of this showdown tonight. James Harp coming up next. So we can find here for you, James. In these next two, and then I'll open up two more from a new sleeve. All right, spot number 31. Where's the National this year? I think it's back out in Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's Chicago next year and then Cleveland the year. Wow, James Harp does it. He walks it off. Look at that. That's why you grab a spot in a showdown. One out of 299, James Harp with the win. He walks it off. Congratulations, man. Chris Taylor gets the job done, and you have the remaining spots in this. So your last three boxes we can send to you sealed. James Harp walks it off right there. How about that one, James? Turtle B, you almost had it, but got caught up with that walk-off. So, James, I'll put this box in there. In your uh, box, I will get you two other blasters as or two other hangers as well to toss in there with your stuff two more hangers and now we'll wrap this one up with a couple personal sweet spots i keep wanting to call them sweet spots they're not sweet spot legendary cuts a couple personals here for adam outlaw and mark barrett to wrap up the night about that James I think that's your first ever buy-in too and uh some beginners luck right there so Adam Outlaw is going to be first Adam Outlaw this is a personal he'll have this entire box and he also wants the three packs from last week which I just had them and I set them right here so this is all for Adam and then Mark Barrett is also going to try a box go ahead and rip these open for you two guys Right now, so Adam Outlaw's up first. We'll start off with your three packs here and see what we can find. Turtle B says, that's the name of the game. That's the way it goes. All right, so in these three packs, the three leftover packs from last week, unfortunately, it looks like they're just all base cards. So Adam, let's check out what you have in your sealed box here of legendary cuts and then we'll get on out of here so we'll probably only be here another five minutes or so folks so thank you very much for joining us 
on yet another episode of the Saturday Showdown. We'll be back again live tomorrow night with an auction. And uh, then after that, we'll be back live on Tuesday night with a Team Break Tuesday. I'll try to start thinking about the boxes I want to put in that this evening or tomorrow. So there's probably going to be about two relics in here. And we'll see if we can find another cut auto from this case. I think that pack right there has either a relic or a spacer. Could we have another Ruth? Man, Adam Outlaw pulled the Ruth already. That, that's right. Amazing, amazing card right there. You probably should have received that maybe today, if not yesterday. Here we go. So start things off. A Stitch in Time Don Mattingly relic is relic number one. Usually there's two relics. They say there's one numbered relic card per box, so that's you're definitely going to have another one. Sometimes you'll have autos in here as well. Larry Doby, 318 out of 550. And we've got Woodrow Wilson, 42 out of 550. Here comes the next hit. It's a Gaylord Perry. It's going to be your cut relic right there. It's numbered 84 of 199. So Gaylord Perry just passed away a couple weeks ago. Hall of Fame right there. And that will do it for Adam. Unfortunately, no big auto in that box. Thank you very much, Adam. And now we're going to wrap this night up with one more box. It is a personal box for Mr. Mark Barrett. So let me grab the next one for you, Mark, and see if you get lucky. Evan, how's it going? San Diego, a great city. I visited there and I think it was 2018 I visited there too. All right, here we go. We also have five star. If anyone wants a personal break of five star, I can I have some boxes left in that case. I can lay them all out on the screen. You tell me which one you want, and we can run those. But if you want one, you only have maybe two or three minutes left until we're done tonight because this is the last one of this evening. Let me get Mark's name over here. I think there's one thick card so far. It's either a relic or a spacer. This pack here feels thick. You can see there's a thick card in there, probably a relic. This pack here feels thick. So probably one spacer and two relics in here. All right, here we go. Cipriano says, hello from Bakersfield. Hello. From Pennsylvania. Here we go. Last box of the night. Jackie Robinson, 494. There's that space. Oh, man, Steve Carlton. There we go. Nice autograph. Legendary signature card there. Steve Carlton numbered 136 out of 199. So, Mark Barrett, congratulations. If this was a box war in terms of who got the better box. Unfortunately for Adam, I think you've just taken it right there. That's a good, good card. An autograph of Steve Carlton. And you still have your relics to come. Fred Lynn, not a Hall of Famer, but a nice player right there. Fred Lynn, game use bat. And do you have anything else? That, that's not numbered, so I'm wondering if they, I guess since he, they gave you a, a numbered auto, I guess the box says one numbered auto or relic per box because you got a numbered Steve Carlton as the hit right there. So, Mark, thank you very much. That's your box. And that will do it for tonight. So thank you very much for hanging out tonight, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. We'll be back again, like I said, on Tuesday with a Team Break Tuesday. All of those spots will be sold on Patreon. We'll be filling those spots on the Patreon page. Maybe starting tomorrow, if I can get all the uh, the rounds put together. It'll probably be a lot of super rips, super mixers, rather. And um, we'll probably have some... I'll try to get some different things in there. Maybe... Maybe some Immaculate. Maybe some UK. I'd like to do Pro Debuts, but they're they're not in their, their uniforms. I don't, pro Debut. Let me check Pro Debut. Pro Debut, Pro Debut. 
See, Pro Debut uses the uh, uses their minor league logo, so a lot of times I'd have to stop and be like, okay, what team's this guy on? So I, I don't like to do those in team breaks because it just takes it's, it takes forever to sort them because I'm, hmm, who are the uh, cross cutters? What team, do, what team do they belong to or whatever? But that's all we have for you tonight. Look for Team Break Tuesday coming next uh, week. Landon Wright says, I'm about to send you an email about an auction. All right, Landon, thank you very much. Next auction will be tomorrow. So if you'd like to check us out for that, we'll be live here tomorrow for that. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your Saturday night. Good night, everybody.